Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are, and welcome to Quizlemania 19, Dare to Dream, the showcase of the Amorons, the greatest spectacle in all of sports infotainment. I am your host, Adam, the bald PA, blonde PA, hairless but fearless, thinner up top but too hot to stop, and I will be shepherding two bald gits and two first-timers through the toughest wrestling quiz this side of Seattle, Washington, that's where WrestleMania 19 took place. Before I introduce our competitors, I would like to point out that in honor of Retribution, uh, WrestleTalk's favorite faction, finally gracing us with their wonderful names, I have gifted each of tonight's players their very own Retribution name. Aren't I lovely? First up, well, I didn't make this one up, but first up, it's Q-Tip. Hey. Hey, Pete. I don't, I don't I'm like this cute tip now. What's up with that? Hey, man. Hey. I bought in to the evolution of Pete Quinnell. Thank you very much. I'm now part of the Ollie Authority. Thank How's you very that going? much. I hear you're yeah, laughing great, Wrestle mate. League. I'm, I'm fighting for Mr. Davis's Quizzlemania trophy. I will win it for him tonight, and I will gift it to him, much like I did. Hey, remember when I got Luke fired, when I gifted Luke, uh, Ollie all of my Wrestle League points? That was a good time, wasn't it? <laughs> and it sure did work, didn't it? Enjoy the quiz, Pete. All right, next up, it's our first special guest of the night. You may know him from his fantastic radio show on Talk Sport. It is the one, the only, the Brock Lesnar of Quizzlemania, as in he's only just being introduced, but he's going straight to the top. It is Pain Blade, otherwise known as Alex McCarthy. Hi, Alex. Hey. Uh, pain blade, sure. I mean, I'm kind of jealous of Q-tip, you know, breathe and stop. I mean, I, I would have took that. But Really? I mean, okay, I thought I was giving you the coolest one. I mean, you kind of did. Uh, it, it, it supersedes my abilities, to be honest, but I will take it. <laughs> yes, very uh, very modest. That's what we like in, in our pain blades. Uh, so, um, obviously, Alex, you are, you know, you cover wrestling professionally. Uh, what is your wrestling era of expertise, though? Oh, definitely uh, 98 to about 2002. I could probably, I'm, I'm, I've even got dates of stuff that happened on Raws and stuff. I, I'm very meticulous with that, Adam. Um, so, yeah, I would say Attitude Era-ish is my specialty. Sure. Oh, okay. Well, I think there may be something for you tonight. Um, what is your favourite fast food franchise? Wow, how are you going to hit me with that? Um... <laughs> I've got to nail you down, I'm afraid. Yeah. It's hard-hitting journalism, Alex. <laughs> you know what? When I go to America to um, to cover events sometimes, I still always end up having McDonald's. Don't know why that is. It I tastes do. different. It tastes different, mate. It actually You're does. If right. anyone who doesn't believe that, it really does. It does. It absolutely does. Thanks so much for coming along. Enjoy the quiz. And also making his Quizzlemania debut. We didn't want to make a big deal out of it. We really, really didn't. Uh, but it's the one and only Nugget. Hi, Nugget. Hi. Hi. How's Adam. it going? Yeah, I'm not sure about the nickname. but um, Really? Yeah, I'm good. I thought yours was the second coolest one. It's better Nugget. than Q-Tip. Small but perfectly formed. Everyone likes a nug, mate. Thanks. How are you? You're welcome. Uh, so obviously it's your first uh, time on Quizlemania. Um, it, you've been clamoring to get on the show. Uh, we were going to have you on, but unfortunately you did fail the petition. But then we couldn't get anyone else. So here you are. Uh, welcome to the show. Um, what's your kind of, what's your strategy for mixing it with the big boys? Um, I mean, Pete's on the show, so I'm guaranteed not to come last which right. did alleviate some of the pressure mm -hmm. um i'm just gonna go in there have a good showing and i'll be fine that's delightful what's your favorite fast food franchise nugs nugs mm. i've never actually had a kfc or a burger king so i'm gonna go you, for what are you fucking talking <laughs> about you lunatic how have you not had a kfc don't know i mean you wouldn't tell it from my slender physique but uh we oh. don't actually eat a lot of crap in the dangle household this, this absolute humble brag um <laughs> I, i'm getting you a, a kfc share box and i'm gonna make you eat it when we next see each other welcome to the quiz. all right and finally he is your reigning defending 
Quizzlemania champion, the one, the only, Splosion. Oh, hello there. Sorry, I was just reading the Wrestle Talk magazine. Excellent, it is. Uh, <laughs> hi, Adam. How are you? Hi, Splosy. How's it going? I'm doing very well, mate. How are you? Thanks so much for the cool nickname. Um, You're I'm welcome. actually gonna I'm gonna agree with you. I think Nugget is a cool nickname. It is um, a cool nickname, and according to the comments, it's really catching on. Which is oh, well, great to see. Is good. It's what they used to call Owen Hart because uh, I think X Pac called him a piece of shit once. So everyone just started <laughs> chanting nuggets at him. So there you go. But you know, I but I I uh, back in my meat eating days loved the chicken nuggets. And now in my vegetarian days, love a veggie nuggets. They're so tasty. Who Corn doesn't love a nugget? They're Tell brilliant. I don't know what I don't know what Louis on about nuggets. Tell you what, right? I mean, I know I've reached my middle age where I can't have a nine box anymore. I've got to go <laughs> for the full 20. I'm, I am racing towards the grave, but gosh, I'm having a nice time doing it. Oh, mate, when I was a, a freelance film journalist, I was trying to put uh, McDonald's out of business. I was trying to, I was trying to rid the world of uh, Big Macs is what I was trying to do. I was, having like, I was having like four to five Big Macs a week. What? Jeez, I know, right? because I get like a, a large Big Mac meal and a double cheeseburger, and then what sort of like every gimmicky side they were doing at the time. Uh, I was at my heaviest at that point as well. Fun <laughs> facts. <laughs> hmm. There's some science in there somewhere. Enjoy the show, Luke. Right. Uh, and finally, um, we, of course, have our fact checker for the evening. Uh, wonderful Tempest, who uh, some of you may not know, has actually been burning the candle at both ends because not only is he covering Quizomania for us tonight, but he's also been covering the G1 Climax over on Wrestle2. He's been live streaming reactions to the G1 Climax, so he is a bit tired. Uh, oh, dear. Tempest? Tempest! Oh. Hello, time friends. It? Uh, it is time for Quizomania, old boy. No, no rest for you. How is the G1 bloody going, mate? Well, the G1 is going excellently, Adam. Uh, we are through the first three days of the tournament oh my goodness i've been here for eight hours the the show finished it at <laughs> 8 a.m my time i woke up at five live streamed for three hours and and now it's four. Oh my goodness <laughs> okay um hmm. this is going to be a fun month for you oh i'm totally looking forward to it i get to do this on my birthday so that's really? be your a birthday tempest uh, my birthday is October 10th, 1010, which will feature the main event of Kazuchika Okada versus Shingo Takagi. And if that isn't a birthday gift from New Japan, I don't know what is. What's the, been the match of the tournament so far? Ooh, that is a good question. If I had to go with my personal opinion, I would say Hiroshi Tanahashi versus Tetsuya Naito, the main event of night two. And, I mean, there's been other very good matches. Tomohiro Ishii against Will Ospreay was a phenomenal match from this morning's show, uh, as well as Tomohiro Ishii against Minoru Suzuki, as you would li likely suspect from the Ooh. first night. I mean, it doesn't get much better than that. Before we, get, ooh, before we get underway, I have to make uh, a quick... Um, a quick little announcement here for the sake of uh, for my integrity. When Louis Dangor and I reviewed the show on Monday, we did our live stream reviewing the G1 Climax. He has tried to blackmail me since. I'm sorry. Because, yes. Let no me guess. explain. Yes. He's a very naughty boy. He knew that I'm the fact now. checker here on Quizzlemania. And I made the mistake of forgetting to hit the broadcast button on our stream and did our entire intro and the review of about the half of the first match before realizing that we weren't actually live. Oh. So if any of you were watching and noticed that we started the stream about two minutes late, that would be the reason why. Now, he has tried to say that he will broadcast this news to the world if I don't help him win Quizzlemania 19. And that is not going to happen because I'm a fair man. And right before we get started, one last thing. I had some fun with arts and crafts this weekend because I'm just a little bit tired of sitting here in the lobby with my hand up like this. So when there needs to be a fact checked, I can <laughs> sign. 
I love it. Very well done. So when you see this pop up in the little window down here, you can be sure that a fact needs checking. Uh, I didn't know I was missing it, but I absolutely, oh, I love it. Thank you so much, Tempest. Uh, we will check in on you when I inevitably get something terribly wrong. Enjoy the show. All right, let's welcome back our players. Uh, we've got Splosion, Q-Tip, Pain Blade, Nugget. Uh, welcome back. Um, just before we start, uh, obviously the winner of this will receive the prestigious Quizzle Mania trophy, which is currently being held by Luke, not Mr. Wrestle Talk, because you were Luke the whole time, weren't I you? Was, mate, look what <laughs> look at this dickhead, he fell for it. <laughs> I can't believe you thought he was he was Mr. Wrestle Talk and not Luke. He was so he was just wearing a hat. It was obviously Luke. You had the same background, mate. <laughs> I know you just changed around. <laughs> he just oh amazing. Yeah, yeah. What an idiot. Yeah. What a dumbass. Yeah. All right, yeah. so this episode is also sponsored by Surfshark. Let's get it out of the way. Has this ever happened to you? You try to watch your favorite show, Quizzlemania 13, but it's blocked in your country because for one of the rounds we used footage, and despite our fans begging us to use footage every single day, this is what happens. Then we found a solution for you. Now you can watch Quizzlemania 13 with Surfshark, a VPN app or browser extension that turns your phone, tablet, computer, or game console into a great big liar. And if you use the code WrestleTalk, you get 83% off and three months for free. You could pay $12 a month or with Jam That Jam, you could pay under $2 a month. That's just Steiner maths, you freaks and geeks. Then, when you're done with Quizzlemania 13, you can watch other things that aren't as good, like HBO or American Netflix if you live outside the US, or BBC iPlay if you live outside the UK. Or you could just watch Quizzlemania 13 again. Ah, uh, look at all that WWE footage. God, skirting as close as we can to copyrighted content sure makes us feel alive. Please don't tell WWE about Quizzlemania. Thanks to Surfshark for sponsoring this episode of the show. And remember, go to Surfshark. Shark.deals forward slash jam that jam and to promo code WrestleTalk for 83% off and three months for free. The price is shite, is how we begin this game. Let's jump into the quiz. We've wasted enough of your time at home. Thank you so much to everyone who is watching. Uh, of course, if you'd like to super chat us and say hello, we'll be reading out all the super chats over $5 and we'll be catching up with the super chats throughout the show. We appreciate absolutely everything you sent to us. You guys are the best. And we could use some of your super chat money to buy one of these. It is the Vince McMahon Higher Power mm. Reveal action figure he kind of like power the Howard power oh son of a bitch <laughs> um i uh so basically all of these um prices are in dollars so however much you think that is worth the closest without going over prices right rules will walk away with five points that's how it works so how much would you pay for vince mcmahon the authority not the authority the higher power reveal Dull. The Hound 316 says, I'm a sad hound. 2020 can burn in the lowest depths of hell. It took Kobe. Was that this year? God mm -hmm. almighty. Uh, Shad Gaspard, Chad Bozeman, Animal. Oh, yes, of course. Rest in peace, Animal. Uh, Chicago Bears legend Gail Sayers. Thanks to all of you and Quizzlemania. My day can be okay. Much love and bear down. Hashtag JTJ. Yeah, of course. Rest in peace, Animal. Terrible news um, that broke earlier today uh what a rush what an absolutely amazing tag team they truly truly were uh, animal and hawk together again at last all right so uh let's start with the reigning champ luke how much would you pay for that action figure i've gone for 14 dollar dues and 99 centurinis you've taken a dollar off can i ask why because i but I wanted to do my 99 gimmick. My mm -hmm. guess was going to be 15 bucks. So I originally wrote down 15.99. Then realized that's actually 16 bucks. So I thought if I want to be closer to 15, I've got to do it as 14.99. Understandable. Uh, Q-tip. See, I've gone completely the opposite here uh, because I get the feeling that this is something that might be quite coveted because it's one of those segments that's so infamous that everyone knows about it. And it might be something that people would like to get. So I've gone for... $82.82. Q-tip, really pushing it there, Nugget. So before I start, I'm going to show off this book. 
<laughs> I mean, the, the term show off has been perhaps uh, misused. <laughs> yeah. So this is actually a very funny story. So this was a birthday present. And I'll, t- I'll reveal who got it for me afterwards. So this came in an Amazon package. No, <laughs> this came in an Amazon package, which one of my parents opened. <laughs> so they show me this and was like, this is come on your birthday. Who's it from? And they thrown away the package. So I had no clue who'd sent it to me. So I'm thinking, who? Firstly, who knows I've got a small penis? I had to rack my brain and find out it wasn't any of them. So then I messaged Andy Datsun. And I was like, it was you, wasn't it? And he was like, yes, it was. Uh, back to the answers, $29.99. $29.99. It's sort of sweet. It's what you expect from Randy Andy Datsun. Pain Blade. I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of still reeling from Louis Dangle, not Nugget, pardon me. Uh, Thank you. Not... not, not... Not ever having a Burger King or KFC. Right? <laughs> right? Yeah, sorry. We did skip Google. over that. Yeah, yeah, yeah we really that. did. Like, like what? You what never... have you been... Seriously, have you... what have you been this... doing? Need to know. This also comes from the man who doesn't listen to music and doesn't watch movies. What do you do with your life, <laughs> Nugget? Watch have you... wrestling. <laughs> have, you, like, have you never driven anywhere? I don't understand. <laughs> Yeah, what do you do on the what do you do at the service stations on the M6? Yeah. <laughs> you have to have one of those. <laughs> where do you live? It's like a person. Like, where? <laughs> I've driven past them. I'm, I'm not saying I've never seen them, never heard of them. I've I am never aware of these in. Burger Kings. <laughs> <laughs> these kings of burgers. <laughs> but I do not owe allegiance to these particular monarchs. The Colonel uh, was an old family friend. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Alex, what's right. your answer? Uh, so actually, I also went $14.99. Oh, exciting. It can reveal that the higher power uh, will go for $14.00. Oh. Uh, so, wait, who, uh, so the closest back Everyone to, went over. Everyone went over. Yeah. Oh, no. oh, this is no I should have made you all re-guess that is official prices right rule. But I thought someone had gone underneath, but no one had. So no points no. for anybody. But well Just done. Up. Yeah, it's a 99 gimmick. You've got to be careful. Do you know what, Adam? Like WrestleMania, like WrestleMania 19, off to a hot start. That was the uh, the Undertaker versus A Train and Big Show of uh, first round questions. Now, don't excuse forget, me, Nathan Jones. Don't forget Nathan. He wasn't in the match. Let's, 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 what a great pump kick he brought to the table, and don't you forget it. All right? let's, <laughs> let's not forget Rey Mysterio versus Matt Hardy, which actually opened WrestleMania 19 and was a belter of an opening match. And this, Jeremy. however, is the uh, <laughs> the Nathan Jones. Uh, it is a piece of ring mat from Ooh. when John Cena got engaged to Nikki Bella. It, it is a piece of the actual ring uh, when uh, John Cena went down on one knee for that fateful uh, proposal after burying Miz and Marie. Is it where his knee actually oh, went? Like it, It's not, no. It's oh, just a little oh, bit oh, of the map. That might change my price then. <laughs> Is this being sold by either Nikki Bella or John Cena? No, unfortunately it's being sold by eBay. So maybe it's being sold by John Cena. Mm. He does need the money. Um, yes, yeah, so, so the ring ring map from the Cena and Nikki's engagement in dollars. One more time, uh, Alex Williams says a Quizlemania haiku. Delightful, uh, Mr. Wrestle Talk. He's Luke Owen in disguise. Guess Q Tip was right. Hashtag jam that jam. Elegant, very mm-hmm. elegant. Uh, Nicholas Thompson says a better opening promo for Retribution would have been T Bar stating, "It doesn't matter who we are; all that matters is our plan." <laughs> and finally, Finn Brennan says, "Can you wish my mam Yvette a happy birthday? The woman is one of the only people I talk about WWE with, strangely, and she's an absolute saint. Happy birthday, Yvette! Can happy I get a happy birthday. birthday, Yvette, from you, Luke? Happy birthday, Yvette! Can I get a happy birthday, Yvette, from you, Q Tip?" Happy Hanukkah. Can I get a happy birthday from you, Nugget? Happy birthday. And can I get a happy birthday from you, Alex? Happy birthday, Yvette. 
delightful. Hey, say, that's how you do it, Alex. Sound a bit more enthusiastic there, Nugget. Jesus. <laughs> Nugget. All right, Alex, we're going to start with you this time. How much would you pay for the place where the fateful proposal happened? How much would I pay? Yes. Um, I, I thought for, for the people involved, it actually might be higher than you usually expect, just because, I don't know, they're, they're so fanatical about them. But... Mm. I don't actually know what pieces of Mac go for that people propose on. So I'm going to say 39.99. 39.99. It is it is crucially a bit of rubber. Like <laughs> crucially that's what it is. But for some reason some people attach numerical value to it beyond that. Uh nugs uh, so there was only 25. It says 10 out of 25. So I priced it the very steep price of a uh, 9.99. 9.99. Fuck your marriage. Uh Pete uh i it's not signed so i've not gone super duper high however i have gone for 69.69 nice nice and luke well maybe i'm off here because i mean i did i did price it down after alex's revelation <laughs> <laughs> 289 explosion what's wrong oh. with you it's it, people bloody love cena and nikki that's history that mm. like, right that's actual history can i get a reminder alex what did you say uh i said 39.99 all right. Well, uh, scores, we do have a winner uh, because this goes for 149. Oh, my God. Nine. <laughs> uh, so I believe those points go to Q-Tip. Well hey, done. You're in the lead, mate. You're All right, in... let's pull the quiz there. I win. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> go home. Shut it down. Pete wins. Uh, so next. I think this is the first time I've ever been in the say... lead on Quizzlemania. <laughs> Could have happened to a nicer guy. Doesn't it feel nice? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's what you need to do. Just turn your back on everyone you hold dear. Next up, yep. it's a Rowdy Roddy Piper full body pillow cover. <laughs> I'd buy that. that. Pillow or pillow cover? Pillow cover. Mm. I do. I don't. I don't believe it comes with the pillow inside. Though I would argue that the pillow is slightly less valuable than the hot rod himself, wearing a jeans jacket combo and showing off his Hall of Fame ring in a pose which I find mildly threatening. So how how would you like that on a pillow? Yeah. That bomb lip biting. That's hella threatening. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah. Joshua Aparicio. I hope I got your name right. Said I'm just happy that lukewarm Luke Owens is here. Uh, Owens is how it has been written there. Uh, can I get a yes, please? Yes, please. Give me a yes, please in the comments. Get oh, rowdy. Can we get? <laughs> uh, 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 can we get a <laughs> yes, please in the comments? Thank you very much. Uh, Walu TV. Hi Dan says tonight I am rooting for the best writer the website has ever had. Let's go, Pete. Have fun tonight, everyone. <laughs> and I see Naomi says, can I get a yes, please from Q Tip? No. <laughs> oh, wow. And how much do you think WWE paid for the Dark Order off of Wish? <laughs> very, very good. All right. So uh, the Rowdy Roddy Love Pillow. Uh, let's see how much that goes for. Uh, we're going to start with Louis. Let's start with you. Nugget. 25. 25. Alex. Uh, I've got 11.49. 11.49. Pete. Uh, 27, 27. I can't see what I'm showing. There we go. 27, 27. And Luke? 1999. 1999. What was yours, Louis? 25. Nugget. Ah, interesting. So you can get this for the princely sum of $23.85, which means those points would go to Luke Owen, which means we are tied at the top. It is an all uh, wrestle talk top. There we are. So that is Pete and Luke tied for first place with five points as we head into lot number four, which are <laughs> uh, limited edition, come in their own briefcase, money in the bank, <laughs> golden sneakers. Wow. Oh, boy. Holy shit. Uh, so from eBay? From eBay. Uh, they are limited edition. They come with the briefcase. Uh, they have uh, dollar bill inserts. Don't know all that. In, in <laughs> souls, I think. Um, yeah. Obviously, they're gold. Uh, they've got little kind of like Shane McMahon dollar signs on the little tongues there. It's a feast for the senses. I wouldn't be buried in them. Uh, with the briefcase as well. 
Oof. With the brief, with the, yeah, yeah, the main value item is the money in the bank briefcase. Uh, Jorge Martinez, is, is, um, sorry, Adam, is Wale gonna do a round of the artist collective on the box? <laughs> <He's better. laughs> I never did get those sneakers. I, Wale. Yeah, I think it's... Um, I can't believe uh, he didn't fulfill a promise he made while high. Um, Jorge Martinez says, well, he was doing <laughs> agricultural work, or have you know, yeah, you're absolutely True. right, ha harvesting some crops. Uh, roses are red, <laughs> all heels are foreign. Remember, Brie Bella knocked out Liv Morgan. Stop trying to distract us from the movement of the year. Hashtag FTF. Uh, I am the ruin. It says, Love the bald Adam. Welcome to the club. It's all growing back. I'm not going to be part of this club for much longer, please. And Joshua Aparizio says, Now, who is Wrestle Talk's favorite band in the entire world? I mean, I guess like so. If Limp Biscuit is WWE's favorite band, what is Wrestle Talk's favorite band? Disturbed. <laughs> disturbed. Christ. Not fucking disturbed. Christ. That's no one's favorite band. Billy I only Joel. Tell that to antagonize band. Luke. Billy Joel. Maybe Little Mix. Oh no! Uh, it could be uh, Divine Comedy. National Express is basically you know like what? Wrestle that's Talk's a, theme song. That's a bloody that's great true. shout. What is a uh, Talk Sports' favorite band, Alex? What the question's that? <laughs> Good point. <laughs> Put you on the spot, I see. Nah. I mean, we get, um, oh, I mean they're, they're broken up for years now, but Oasis kind of fly in and out just because Liam Gallagher loves City. So I'm going to say Liam Gallagher. How about that? Very, very good. I just love how I just love how reactionary you got for that. And what kind of question is that? <laughs> Don't have them coming in every day. And <laughs> what? <laughs> right. Uh, let's start with Q-tip. Uh, what, what would you pay for these uh, rock solid gold sneakers? Well, it's definitely not what I would pay, but I've gone for ninety nine, ninety nine, ninety nine, ninety nine. Luke is shaking his head. Hey, you naive fool! People fucking love shoes. Seven hundred and twenty five dollars <laughs> and ninety nine cents. People bloody love sneakers. People bloody love shoes. Uh, Nugs. So genuinely, no figure came to my head, so I wrote. Too fucking much. <laughs> I mean, okay, fair enough. Throw, throwing the points away, but I like, I like the, I appreciate the bit. Um, Pain blade. Um, so I, I'm doing this off the premise that have you ever been to events and you see people walking around with titles that are like 350 pounds, right? Yeah. Like people will pay for this year. So I have gone 499.99. Ooh, okay. Get so we got. So this if it's anywhere it. between a hundred dollars and five hundred. I get the points. No, no, no. Yes. if we all classify it's too much, I get. The <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Uh, hmm. I can confirm that fucking hell. The guy, the man, knows how the sausages are made, and he understands no that way. people want shoes. Seven hundred fifty-nine. Oh people bloody love shoes. That's <laughs> absurd. They look like shit. <laughs> They're awful. But two... all awful shoes cost too much. Too fucking much. Well like done, Luke. Oh, God. <laughs> well done, Luke. And to an extent, well done, Louis. Uh, right. <laughs> Finally, uh, something close to, I think, most people's hearts. Maybe not, Louis, because you might be a little too young. But it is WWE Crush Hour for the <gasps> Nintendo oh, GameCube. Mate. Wow. <laughs> I knew what Luke would do that. <laughs> Oh, mate, what, what a game. What, what uh, is this? R.I.P. people's <laughs> headphones for Luke What are video Owen. games? I'm not aware of such things. Tell me about it's your basically... video, James. <laughs> basically like Destruction Derby, but it was with WWE. It's it could twist... be William Regal and shit. It's Twisted it's Metal, mate. Twisted Metal, but for, for the big dub. It's absolutely brilliant. And this is for the GameCube, best of all consoles. Uh, I, mean, I, I must point out... It had a handle. <laughs> it did. You get everything you see in the picture. You get the box, you get the manual, you get the precautions booklet, and you also get the game itself. Most of the places you find only provide you the disc, but this is the whole, the total package, uh, as they say. So, Brew, uh, I'll, just, I'll leave it on the screen. Uh, Brutality says, Oily Davis the real heel. He ruined SRS last week by being a crap teammate in the second to last round. You meanie mean, Mr. Davis. He is he is a prick. Jeremy Bauman says, today is my birthday. I used one of my 35 wishes for Luke Owen to return, and it happened. Can I get a birthday shout out, please? Yes, please. And thank Thank you. Uh, can I get a happy birthday for Jeremy, please, Luke? Of course you can. Happy bloody birthday, Jeremy. 
Yes, can please, I, mate. Can I get a happy birthday, please, Q-tip? Happy New Year. Can I get a happy birthday, please, Nugget? Happy birthday. Jeremy, did you say? Jeremy. Very, yeah, it's Jeremy. nice to see you get back into the spirit of things. Lewis, and can I get a uh, happy birthday, please, Alex? Happy birthday, Jezza, me old mucker you. There you go. <laughs> a little over familiar, but we'll let it slide. All right, uh, Alex, how much would you pay for Crush Hour? I've gone twenty one ninety nine. Um, I, I, I thought high, and then I threw myself back in. All right, uh, Louis. Nugget twenty five. Twenty five on the dot, Pete. Twelve, twelve. 12 12 and 22 99 interesting it's, complete. So it's, it's in the box it's pretty tight though remind me of yours alex 21.99 oh at the last moment you were pipped my friend because it's 24 oh. 99 oh, shit. you were off hey, you were over by one cent louis <laughs> <laughs> Louis, the 99 gimmick, mate. It never fails. <laughs> oh, oh, Alex, I really thought you had it there for the longest time. But then, Luke, he's played the game before, you see. So, oh, that, uh, I, I, I bloody love uh, collecting retro games. There you are. Right, I'm so fair. the current scores as they stand. In joint last place, it is the first timers to Quizomania. It is. Pain Blade and the big nugs. And in second place, it's Q Tip with a staunch five points, but with 15 boosting ahead of the pack. It is Luke Warm Luke Owen. 15 Thanks, points. Guys. Well done, sir. Uh, we're going to move on to the next round straight away. It's a round we haven't had in a little while. It is Name That <laughs> Jam. I never get tired of seeing that. Thanks, Volantis Moon. So, uh, the way this works is we've had a different gimmick every time we play Name That Jam. This time we're going to keep it simple. I am going to play you a superstar's entrance music. You are going to tell me to whom that entrance music belongs. The catch, I'm going to play the entrance music backwards. All oh, right. Figured. Yeah. yeah, you yeah. heard. Yeah, yeah. There's going to be 10 of these. I, because they are surprisingly easy, uh, I decided to whack a whole bloody load of them in. And there will be three points for getting the right answer. Obviously, you can have multiple people get the right answer for this round. So uh, you're going to hear it. It's going to be the first 20 seconds of their theme reversed. Uh, and you only get to hear it one time. Just the once, no repeats. Mm -hmm. All right, so the first track, please don't let this be a copyright strike. I think we're safe, but whomst is this? <laughs> it's a great ending. Yeah. Uh, Christopher Jazzcat says, "What's up, folks? Can't stay up to watch tonight, but love the show. Who are your picks for the G One? Um, <laughs> well, let's let's bring him back in, shall we? Uh, I'm going to go with Kota Ibushi. How about y'all? Same as these. Touchy bonds of it. <laughs> yeah, Tai Chi, <laughs> totally. Uh, Keeps yeah, I, I'm. I think I'm. I'm going to say Ibushi as well." I think if I had to place money on it, I'm going to go with Kazuchika Okada just because I think they want to have the biggest possible match to try and fill the Tokyo Dome in January with as many people as they can, even though they won't get any foreign uh, fans coming in for the show. So I think another Okada Naito main event would uh, would do the trick there. Fair enough. Thank you, Tempest. All right. Uh, let's. Th this was easy comments i know the first one is always the easy one jesus uh luke warm luke owen uh the rock he once interviewed chris van vliet <laughs> <laughs> pete uh i've also gone for rocky I, I am slightly concerned though that i didn't get it instantly and uh, wow. it took me like a good like i was like wait 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 wait. i know i recognize this what the hell so i'm <laughs> quite concerned about the rest of the round did it take the little exorcist voice right at the end there? no i did get it before that luckily Nice. Uh, Louis. The Rock. The Rock. And Alex. Yeah. Also Rock. Although, uh, yeah, also until The Rock spoke at the end, I was struggling. <laughs> 
Yeah, careful, get away, hurry. The gum you like is going to come back in style. Uh, right, uh, next <laughs> up. Yeah, he gets it. This guy. Uh, who is this? <laughs> Well, even reverse, the start sounds the same. I thought mm -hmm. that. <laughs> right. I mean, the start is basically like a reverse soundtrack. That's what it sounds like. So I guess it's great works. music, though. Some of these are easier than others. Um, all right, jobber.jtj496, Mr. D Mr. Ollie Davis, number one fan, TM says, hello, everyone. My retribution name is Jammy Jubber. <laughs> Hashtag Xander for Chrysalmania. And Dwayne the Gronk Johnson says, obligatory fortnightly bad joke. Slapjack. Delight. <laughs> <laughs> Correct, Amundo. Um, right, we're going to go in reverse order this time. Alex, what was your answer? Yeah, I'm happy to just get points on the board here, and it is... Uh... Vince and no chance. It is indeed. I mean, who knows? It could be anything, <laughs> but you are right. <laughs> oh, look, I think Nuggets Internet's going again. Nugs. No, I'm it. Nugs. So it's Noam E. Sync Vig with Vince McMahon in reverse. Oh, very Even good. Gimmick. Very, oh, very nice. Bloody Super. smart ass. Bloody yeah, Vince in it. Bloody, <laughs> bloody yeah, bloody yeah. And Vince McMahon or Royal Rumble 1999. <laughs> and Shane. <laughs> Very good. Oh, can I have extra credit, teacher? <laughs> <laughs> I want to Speak show off my wrestling knowledge. <laughs> Speaking of Vince McMahon, there is a certain video that's gone up on Parts of Unknown recently about Vince McMahon. Adam, would you like to tell the viewers what the video is? Yeah, it's how I've booked what happens when Vince dies. But Ollie wouldn't let me write retires, that. Retires. Yeah, retires. Adam, yeah, yeah, retires. Yeah. When he dies, though. Um, it's, it's, <laughs> I think I think it's halfway decent. It's what, what WWE should do uh, when Vince uh, goes. So what, what should, what's the immediate thing they do? And what's the first WrestleMania they do after the new era when Vince is no more? Uh, so it is. The first one was The Rock. Second one, of course, Vinnie Mac. Very, very good. Uh, I've, hopefully, they will be harder from this point on. But I generally can't guarantee that because, yeah, it turns out that they just sound the same backwards as forwards. But anyway, number three. All righty, nice. Really. Hope you're right. You can't here. guarantee that they'll get harder. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> it's just nice to have some points, isn't it? Points for everybody. <laughs> yeah. Hopeful Hero 95 says, can't wait for Nugget to have a yellow and black striped suit and join the nation of doll in nation. Uh, hashtag lukewarm. Can I get a yes, please? Daltani says, Quizomania 19 is here. Let's get it, lukewarm Luke Owen. Yes, please. Yes, please. Uh, yes, please. Yes, please. All right. Let, uh, hang on a second. Um, there's a fact check coming in. A very easy to spot fact check. Hi, friend. That's correct. Uh, it's actually not a fact check per se, but I felt like I uh, should let, I know I'm killing the gimmick. Uh, I should <laughs> let everyone in the uh, group know that uh, Lance Archer has just announced that he has tested positive for uh, COVID-19. Oh, uh, just, oh, wow. Just so everyone is aware. He says that uh, he feels okay. Expect him, expect to see him in two weeks. So Okay. Wow. Just well, so you are all aware. Bl bloody hell, then. Um, yeah, we're, best of luck. Breaking news on Quizzlemania. Thanks, Tempest. Thank uh, you, Tempest. Uh, obviously, uh, quick and hopeful, uh, safe recuperation to Lance Archer. Hope he gets well soon. Uh, for right. AEW with their title matches. Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I can't do one for anything. Uh, okay, let's and start. And speaking of AEW... <laughs> you don't know that's who they are. What do you? Who do you think they are, Pete? It's the box of youth. Go home, uh, Alex. Of course, it is the young bucks. And very bucks. And yep, bucks of, bucks youth. of youth. 
It's such a, I, it's such a good theme. I really right. super kick party. party. No, I get bang. Oh, absolutely wonderful. All right. Hopefully this one's a hard one. Nope. No, it isn't. I know what's coming next. All right. <laughs> what's this? Someone in the chat has also said, uh, obviously, we hope that uh, Jake Roberts is being well taken care of. Yes, yes, yes absolutely. Totally. That is a very good point. Um, we hope that Jake Roberts is absolutely fine. Uh, so Amro says, Pete joining the Ollie Authority sounded like the perfect job from hell. And Carlos Diaz says, Luke is a vegetarian. Now he's become a true heel. Yeah. Mm. Reducing your carbon footprint. Like a twat. <laughs> <laughs> and the Mohawked one says, Luke, Q-tip, I got one word for you. Slapjack. Uh, Luke, whom is that that you heard? Kelly, Kelly. Hi, Kenny. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> uh, Kelly, 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 innit? Louie. Kelly, Kelly. And Alex. Yes, sir. Kelly, Kelly. Very, Very good. Kelly. Threes across the board. It's just like, yeah, I got like four or five in and I kept listening to them, but it's like, these are pretty easy. But then I just kept going. What <laughs> one? I love It's one of my favorite themes, this. It's a great oh, very that. good. Even in reverse, it's still a banger. Yeah. <laughs> Somehow. We're not going to do this round again. Though, though at the start, it does sound like he's saying Hollywood over and over again. <laughs> Allah, 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 Allah. Uh, <laughs> Keith Lowe says, Adam's baldness lasted longer than Retribution's believ believability as a threat of a faction. Thanks, guys. Uh, hashtag Louis is the golden nugget. Hashtag jam that jam. Heats ahead whenever I'm not watching says this trying time got me thinking. Davis Owen, JTJ RTR. Why do we have to fight and not get along? Guys, make love, not god awful repackage names. <laughs> yeah, when when are you and Ollie gonna make love? <laughs> and uh, again? Yeah. <laughs> All right, uh, let's. Who's going to go first this time? Alex, who was that? I got Nada. I don't know. Ooh. Ooh. I didn't know. Oh, what? Someone's been tripped up by it. Amazing. Louis. Mental. The Nexus, who Tempest and I have been reliably informed on Twitter, had the majority of 2010 uh, being put over by John Cena after SummerSlam. Oh, uh, Pete. Nexus. Nexus. Real one, real one. Total banger. Threes across the board apart. Damn it. From Pain Blade. All right. So they are getting harder. It's provable at this point. All right. Number six. Who is this? Brilliant. That <laughs> end was amazing. It sounds like it is being stuck through a plug hole. <laughs> <laughs> you what? You what? Uh, right. Oh, um, let's start with L -L -L Louis. Who's that? No, again. Mela. Carmela. Mela. Alex. Yeah, absolutely. Carmela. Pete. I'm reliably informed she is money. Carmela <laughs> and Carmela. Carmela, she's fab. She's fab. <laughs> <laughs> that is adorable. God bless you, Luke Owen. Oliver Webb saying, definitely got to be bald to work for you, boys. Hashtag wrestle smooth. Hashtag shave that shave. We've got a, a very hairy boy in the bottom left corner. Louis, Louis covered in hair. Mm. Yeah, he is. Mm. It's going. 
Oh, cool. Oh, right. we'll, 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 we'll fall back on Rich then. Rich has got loads of hair. <laughs> Rich has got tons of hair. And he refuses to show his face and that beautiful head of hair. Right. Who is this number seven? I want to say. <laughs> Arguably the best theme. All right. Pretty good, yeah. Randall Keith. Randall, Randall Keith. Randall Keith. Randall, Randall Keith. Randy Orton. Randy Orton's better theme. Uh, Louis. Randy Orton. Alex. Randy. Hey! Hey! Uh, Nothing you can say. I think it was... I think it was uh, Raw vs. SmackDown 2006 or 2005. Uh, It came with a Randy Orton, like, top trump card. Uh, and I was working in Game Station at the time, and people would obviously trade the game in, and it would still have the Randy Orton card in it. So we just collected all of them, and we had this <laughs> massive stack of Randy Orton cards, and then we would throw them at each other and go, "Hey!" <laughs> <laughs> Get one in the eye. <laughs> hey! <laughs> all right. Uh, I just realised I haven't been showing the uh, the pictures so far, so that's what the young bucks look like. Bless him. That is Ellie, lovely to see you as always. The Nexus, of course. <laughs> that is John Cena. In, oh, in, their, in their true form, Mella, she's money, and Randy. Look how grumpy he is to be on Quizlemania. He's mm. gonna fit in my handbag. All right. <laughs> yeah. People's take your hand. On a, on an unrelated note, real quick, Nugget, you have really nice handwriting. Just thought I'd throw it out there. Thank you. Mm. Oh, Thank let's you. all get along. Carter Bomelli says, Luke, considering how convincingly you fooled all of us with Mr. WrestleTalk, not me, uh, did you also fool your wife or did she see through the facade? She saw through the facade. I mean, it, it was, was just you. It was just you with a mask and a hat on. What kind of dick? Yeah, yeah. That? And she hates that hat as well. Like when I brought <laughs> that hat out of storage, she was like, not that hat. You're not wearing that hat, are you? Hang on. You didn't buy the hat specifically for the gimmick? No, I've had that for like 10 years. <laughs> May I <laughs> ask <laughs> why? Because it's a wicked match the other contender. contender. When you haven't had a Burger King or a KFC, Louis. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, won't, I won't have it. Oh, we've got a fact check. Yes. Hey! Um, first of all, I, I'll say that uh, Randy Orton has publicly said that he absolutely hated that theme song. What? Yeah, he said he hated it. Absolutely hated it. He said he thought it was something. Yeah, he said it was something that like teenagers would would listen to. And as someone who listened to it as a teenager, I mean, he got that part right. Nice hat. Also, uh, an update on the uh, AEW title situation: John Moxley is going to be putting the title on the line tonight against a challenger that has not been uh, announced. Ooh. Mm. We'll see. Ooh. It'll be Kingston. Imagine yeah, if they just whack the belt on him. That'd be such a WWE thing to do. Thanks, Tempest. Right. Oh, uh, is that a Bob's Burgers hat? It is. It's my it's my Louise hat. It's got a tag. This was on the it. Is it, yes, because I haven't taken the tag off. This was the alternative for um, Mr. Wrestle Talk. <laughs> I think you chose correctly. Uh, right. Got your head stuck in a turkey. <laughs> yeah, I can you? see it. Uh, right. So we've had Randall. Who's next? Ah, delightful. This is number whatever. Yes. Hang on. Who is? Uh, there we go. Hey! All right. Um, let head. me see. Christopher Henderson says, "Why does Nugget's crap bedroom look so much like Rey Mysterio's crap bedroom?" <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was Louis all along, Austin. To be fair, like I've lived in like flat shares in London, where I've only had a bedroom to live in, and it's been smaller than Louis's. Okay. Louis, that, that's quite the bedroom you've got there. But I'm not flat sharing. I live with my parents. <laughs> no, I, I, I was, I was, I was I coming with your aid, Nugs. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yes. You're welcome. Uh, but I believe when Rey Mysterio was on the show, and correct me if I'm wrong, because I, I, I wasn't there, I wasn't watching at the time, um, he said he was in Dominic's room. I believe oh, he did yeah. say that. So obviously, yeah, yeah, I think Ray's going to have a better room uh, just teaching Dominic the fundamentals of life. I get a there lot of fact check, Tempest. Look like comparisons. 
You do. You I do. do. I get a lot of it. When I did an interview with him side by side, my mentions were flooded. <laughs> Pokemon evolution of Dominic Mysterio. <laughs> it's not his dad. Right. Uh, <laughs> who was that? Let's start with Alex. Tell you what, Alex, let's start with you. Yeah, who that would be the night nice wonder of the world. Um, when she randomly started coming out with a bazooka of all things. That's right, <laughs> which only sporadically fired. China, yeah. China, 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 and of all the wonders in the world, she's ninth. <laughs> 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 treat her like a woman, don't treat her like a man. Don't treat her like you know her, and then no one knows the other lyric. Or... <laughs> uh, what's next? Oh, yes, uh, number nine. Whose is this? <laughs> That's an amazing I, trumpet. I, I just, proper tickled me that. I just kept it in this whole round <laughs> because genuinely they sound brilliant backwards. <laughs> uh right. Um I want to play I want to play Kelly Kelly's again at the end. I really, <laughs> really tickled by Kelly Kelly's. Uh let's see. Uh a super chat first. LV player Cliff says Adam's hair growing in real nice. Luke, glad you're back. Uh great sign, Tempest. Q tip. I'm planning D D tonight. Party's level 10. What should I do? Uh, play the... I don't know what situation you're... Play the game. I don't know. Tarask. 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 Don't TBK. do it, Tarask. No. no. Don't play Stone the Giant Tombs of Annihilation. They're really cool. I did them lately. Do them. They're good. Play the Tombs Continue. of Annihilation. No, no don't Never play, play that. Life. Never, Never play, play Tomb of Annihilation. It, 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 is, it makes the DM play mm. against the players, and it's stupid. Yeah. Wow. Agreed. Wow, fair enough. Uh, well, Luke, um, I to to lighten the mood, William Regal, what a bastard, Pete. Big Willie Regs. Willie Regs, Louis. I literally did write Willie Regs. Amazing. <laughs> and Alex McCarthy. There it is. The man his, himself. His. I. I was going to say better theme, but I do really like the do 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 do. Right. Uh, final one. It's the final one. Uh, there's only been one dropped point this whole <laughs> this whole round. Uh, right. Let's see if we can drop another point. This is the hardest one. No, it isn't. <laughs> What is that? I was laughing so much I couldn't write down a funny line. <laughs> Delightful stuff. Uh, Alex, oh, very good. Who's who's uh, Oh, God. That's, that's when Lib Biscuit did Undertaker in his American badass days. Very good. The badass himself, Louis Decker. <sighs> Take it. Keep rolling. Keep all rolling, baby. <laughs> the, uh, the Undertaker. Yeah. Undertaker yeah. and Luke. Undertaker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've done it now, Adam. You've gone and made, <laughs> a, gone big and made a big mistake. <laughs> Holy moly. Three points to everyone. Oh, Bloody God. well done. I'm going to take and... this quick opportunity between rounds to one, go to the toilet, and two, get another pen because my pen's running out of ink. Well, I've got something to pass the time. <laughs> Uh, Tempest, can, how can I help you, sir? Uh, you have made a grave mistake, Adam Blompier, when you said that was William Regal's better theme. Oh, I see. You didn't mention he's a man. Uh, ah, a man. 
one era. of the best themes of all time. <laughs> um, just to push my nose up, uh, just put my glasses up my nose for a second, but that was actually the theme tune to Stephen Steve Regal. Mm. No, it's not Willie Riggs' it theme, mate. He used it on Raw one time when he wrestled Daniel Bryan. As um, well. to you, Tempest. Very you can't well, get anything right. past me, Adam Blampier. To get up a lot earlier in the day to get one past you, Tempest, old boy. Probably about the time that the D1 starts. See you later. Right. So uh, after that round, there it's fairly, fairly tight. So uh, in last place with 27, Alex. In, <laughs> going from zero to 27 in one round. Not bad, folks. Uh, however, going <laughs> getting for the full 30 uh, in second place, in third place, sorry, with 30, it's Louis Dangor. Nugget. Nuggets. Nuggets. Uh, in second place with 35, it's Q-Tip. And in first place with 45, it's Splosion. Uh, so everything is very much still to play for. We've got a lot more to go. And this one is probably going to be quite a bit harder it's a brand new round like to throw them in this is called bio logi oh god <laughs> oh dear wow that's a graphic that's a graphic that's... They're, oh, they're, no. them. They're, they're, they're twitter's finest right mm. so the way this is going to work uh i am going to read you the twitter bio of a wrestler and you have to tell me to whomst uh, that twitter bio belongs uh three points for getting the right answer simple as that luke you spend Shit. all of your life on social yeah, media. I, I follow like five wrestlers on twitter it like, is a it is a, it is a bit much following them on twitter isn't it oh then it's God, just all yeah. wrestling and yeah it's like, mm. I don't know. oh mate so, so when con considering that like every wrestler has their own twitch channel now when they've linked their twitch channel in their bio you are going to read it out in full right including their link so that we do know where it goes so here's what, here's what i'm going to do i've copied and pasted the bios into Streamyard. i have removed any hashtags that really give the game away but i have tried to keep the bio as intact as possible uh so basically i'm just going to show you and then you'll guess and that's, that's how that works who here follows the most wrestlers on twitter i'm going to go out on a limb and say it's either alex or nugget mm, almost certainly yeah we're, you know the journalists but yeah a few, a few hundred at least probably oh man you're going to be good oh, at this i follow like five people and one of them's tempest <laughs> <laughs> Tempest is giving us a thumbs up from the waiting room. Very happy to hear that. Right. So we're going to crack straight in to this with our first. Uh, I have I have start I have started easy. Don't worry. I am the legend of the earth. Okay. Watch my movie at iTunes link. Then ask yourself, <laughs> are you real or are you a jabroni? <laughs> Whose Twitter bio would that okay. possibly be? B. Same chat, different name according to our moderators. Do uh, Donovan Dijic can't eat pie. Says this trying time got me thinking David Snow is JTG. JTJ, FTF. Why do we have to fight each other? Guys, make love. Not all god awful repackaged names. Apparently someone sent us the same thing twice. So I read it twice. Uh, Trevor L says, Adam, why don't you stream from your kitchen anymore? We miss the bananas. And Luke, how much longer till you fire cute it? Well, I can answer that the reason I don't film from my kitchen anymore is because I moved house. I live somewhere else now. And uh, we we get to film. I, I bet you get to do this without bothering the neighbors because I'm filming from my living room now. So, Luke, when are you going to fire Q-tip? I'm not going to do that because that would be the uh, actions of an asshole. And, uh, <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Pete's a nice guy. He's just he, misguided. Yeah, you're right. He's a nice, nice guy. So, uh, Alex, let's start with no, you. Who, Whose Twitter bio is there? I've got Cheeky Baby. <laughs> as he, in... He baby. <laughs> Himself, yeah. <laughs> um, Louis, my Iranian brother, Iron Sheik. Iron Sheik, Pete. I've got Iron Sheik. He'll get you in a camel clutch. <laughs> and Luke, and he'll break your ass and make you humble. <laughs> <laughs> Iran number one, USA Patui. It is the Iron Sheik. There it is. I am Legend of the Earth. Watch my movie. And do go and watch his movie. Why not? Then ask yourself, are you the real or are you a jabroni? <laughs> I've heard that it's fucking bullshit. Hey? <laughs> hey? Well, it looks like we've got a jabroni in the house. All right. 
next up, whose is this? Lives on caffeine and concealer, speaks sarcasm fluently, believes in Disney magic. Uh, right, okay. Uh, okay, so someone has paid... We have, we have a fact check, I believe, sorry. We, oh, sorry we do have a fact check, you're absolutely right. Uh, hi, Tempest. Yes, I'm very sorry. Uh, for the sake of my own integrity, I have to fact check myself. The William Regal versus Daniel Bryan match where he uh, had the song, the Real Man's Man uh, song, was on Superstars and not Raw. And it has also been uh, confirmed here. People were making a big deal of it in the chat. It's important okay. to get this right. Uh, it's also been confirmed that John Moxley will be defending the title against Eddie Kingston tonight. Eddie oh, Kingston. I'm the one with the sources Lovely. now. <laughs> lovely stuff. I'm going to try and put this sign away now. It's being used far too much. All right, by Tempest. So, um, uh, so someone has paid. Like this is th now. Be be warned, everyone. Be warned. Okay, this is an off-color joke. But someone has paid us twenty dollars for me to read it, and I vetted it. And I think it's okay. But let's just be warned. Jared Zimmerman, you know who you are, has written. <clears throat> Two escorts on a street corner. One is very optimistic and says, I think tonight is going to do great. I even smell the dick in the air. The other turns to her and says, you dumb bitch, I just burped. <laughs> Fuck's sake, Nugget. Come on, Nugget. <laughs> sake, Nugget. And Alex. Nugget. And Luke, I'm calling him. you. Calling him. It's no. so bad. Nugget. I didn't laugh at that, Pete. Come, Come on. on. Huh? I didn't laugh uh, at that. 20 dollars. Well, it's thanks. I mean, thanks for your money, Jared. You <laughs> mm. thank you. It's paid you try to, it, paid to perform. Uh, right. Uh, let's uh, let's start with uh, we'll go the opposite way. Luke, who's bio? I, I guess here, Alexa Bliss, goofy movie. Pete, I also went for Alexa Bliss just based off Disney. Mm. Uh, Louis, I also went for Alexa Bliss, but based off coffee. And oh, yeah. Oh, you of coffee and Disney. Come up with yeah. it. I, I forgot that was her gimmick. Yeah, I forgot <laughs> that was a thing. Does she like coffee? Is that her favorite yeah. thing? She, she had a mug on every a moment of bliss. She'd have coffee and she'd be like, oh, got to clink it with Nikki Cross. And everyone went, what are you doing the whole time? <laughs> she was like, this is a gimmick now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, it was in Dee Dee Doo, Alexa uh, Bliss, there she Lovely. is, lives on caffeine and concealer, speaks sarcasm fluently, believes in Disney, magic. You didn't even put in the emojis, come they on, that's wouldn't the They wouldn't paste Q-tip, get off they... my back. Uh, <laughs> right, next up, whose is this? A forum of thoughts and perspectives designed to ignite conversations and actions, leading to growth and occasional <sighs> self-promotion. Oh, what? A forum of thoughts and perspectives designed to ignite conversations and actions. Oh, I've got a shout. An occasional self promotion. Is this a riddle? Um, I think it's some sort of. Is yeah. it a mat riddle? <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe so. No, there this are is... no bros oh, in it. <laughs> yeah. I've got two guesses and I don't know which one it is. Oh, no. Well, I'll, I'll leave that with you, Pete. You, you make a decision. All righty. Uh, next up, we have our next super chat. Um, Francisco Villarreal says, "Come on, Louis, embrace the nugget. <laughs> embrace it, Louis. Yeah. I am. Embrace I am. Nugget. I am Good a nugget. nugget. Change my mind. Oh, we're having a last-minute oh, mind God. change." All right, that's that done. Okay, scores updated. Marvellous. And Sora Nord, hi, Sora Nord, says, uh, questions for tonight's QM. Who will use their chainsaw on the QM set? Will Q-Tip not come last? Will Nugget get a KFC after the stream? And <laughs> is it Slapjack? Hashtag Andy's Jam. That is it Slapjack? Jam. You do realise that, yeah, I, that you have to have a KFC or a Burger yeah. King, or ideally both after this, yeah. Louis. Um, I am staying up for Dynamite and then reviewing Dynamite afterwards, so I might yeah, a KFC. get a KFC. Right. Uh, so a are you paying? Hmm? Oh yeah, are the company's paying. I mean, Ollie's <laughs> on holiday right now, but he said that I can, you know, authorize whatever I want. Uh, forum thoughts and perspectives designed to ignite conversations and actions, leading to growth and occasional self promotion. Whose is that? Let's start with Alex. Whose do you think that is? 
So, oh, I think it could be wrong, but I've gone for Daniel Bryan. Daniel um, Bryan. Oh, that's such I, a good shout. I, originally, good I had shout. Drew Gulag. It must be just that they just hang around with each other. Who knows? Um, <laughs> Daniel Bryan strikes me as a guy who would say something like that. So, I don't know. Daniel Bryan. All right. Uh, Louis? Uh, I was between three. Daniel Bryan. Mark Miro, I think, does a lot of inspirational, like, speaking, motivational speaking, so I thought possibly him, but I and ultimately went with John Cena. John Cena. Pete? That's also a good shout. I was thinking that it might have been someone like Kevin Owens because he likes to troll, and it's nothing to do with what his Twitter's about, so that could have been him. But I actually ended up going for Sami Zayn. Sami oh, Zayn. Oh, that's a good oh, shout. Shout. oh, my God. Uh, Luke, it says Titus, question mark. Titus? That's also oh. a good show. He, he does some motivational speeches, doesn't he? He does so, motivational. I can reveal that one of you's got it. One of you's absolutely got it. It's John Cena. Oh, oh, no. God. Oh, God. oh, man with the hashtags. Yeah, I, I took the hashtag <laughs> out. Yeah. But also, he's got a little banner with some talking cars on it. <laughs> yeah, it was his book, yeah. wasn't it? It's his book he's wrote, yeah. Fast he, Friends. He wrote it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fast Friends. Oh, bless him. Bless Have him. you seen um, him? He's just announced a new TV project. No. Um, his character so from The Suicide Squad is getting a spin-off show on um, HBO Max. Yeah. Mental. <laughs> Peacemaker or something. There you go. Peacemaker, yeah. It's amazing. I'm really annoyed because I recognized that Twitter bio and I was like, I know I've seen that somewhere, but God. Yeah, it was big. There's lots of good shouts in that round though. Johnny mm. C's in trouble. Looking for a piece of that. Right. Uh next up is who's that one off that one? Ah. Owner of the most educated feet in professional wrestling. One half of the hashtag baddest team on God's Green. Who is that? All right. Uh, Michael Gustin says, Adam, how would you book Slapjack? Would you make him a world champion? Lol. And just because SRS isn't here doesn't mean I'm not going to say it. Hashtag FTF. Deon Dre says, Tempest is the true champion. By what metric? And Laugh Track says, finally, a Quizlemania without SRS. Thank God. Also, what's everyone's favorite video game franchise? I will be a Crash Bandicoot fan until I die. Hitman. Hitman is my favourite video game. Gotta franchise. be FIFA. Gotta be FIFA. Oh, fucking hell, Louis. Like, get a personality for yes. fuck's sake. <laughs> Sorry, I like to drive cars around. Fuck's <laughs> sake. Drive cars with wrestlers. I like playing FIFA. <laughs> Fuck yourself, Luke. <laughs> Didn't realise we had KSI on the stream. Um, <laughs> Uh, who? What's everyone's favorite video game franchise other than FIFA and Hitman? Oh, mate, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm a basic bitch. I'm, it's Resident Evil for me. Or ooh. Phoenix Wright. Phoenix. I've never played a Phoenix Wright game. Bloody love him, mate. Mm. I guess by right. by default, mine kind of has to be Pokemon. I guess you know. Yeah, hope, hope <laughs> team. Right? I like uh, the Grand Theft Auto series. Work for me. Um, Very good shout. Yeah. So. Very, very good shout. All right, Jay Mitchell says, Adam, can I get your Bray Wyatt impression, please? It's the greatest thing in the world. Also, can anyone else do a wrestling impression? I've genuinely, oh my God. So I like, so the Bray Wyatt impression comes from, where does it come from? I think the Alexa Bliss booking or maybe something else. But literally that was 30 takes and we finally got it. So like, if I do it now, it's not going to sound like Bray Wyatt. I can't even... Remember what I said? It was like something about like wolves in the dark and some, it's just some random about right. like, copy paste po poem bullshit. Uh, but can anyone else do a wrestling impression? Not really. I could do like Undertaker. That's like pretty easy. Your Stone Cold is you very literally good. can do a Stone Cold Steve Austin. You, we've got I you on tape. Like, I don't think you, I can do a decent. You're wearing the vest, Luke. <laughs> <laughs> you're already halfway there. Yeah. Go on. Give, give us your, and that's the bottom line. I know, I, I, doing an actual oh, Austin, I can only do, I can fuck. basically only do impressions of him from um, uh, Broken Skull Sorry. Challenge. I just had a completely <laughs> fucking brainwave for who this fucking answer is. Which is I, a great I, show, by the way. That's the bottom line. <laughs> you there in the black tank top, what do you want to say about the one the green tank top? Talking <laughs> mess about you. <laughs> you sound like Hank Hill. Yeah. <laughs> Hank Hill. Is that the one that's been whacking off in my tool shed? Was that the brain impression? Where was that? Um, Bray That's Wyatt. a wrestler. That's a good one. neighbor. Uh, how did it, it was like, it's just going to be bad and no one's going to laugh. It's going to be. 
Do your Becky Lynch. My Becky Lynch. <laughs> tibbity, 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 tea. Um, you can do your Charlotte, which was very good from the same booking video. <laughs> what I just... <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm Charlotte. <laughs> I sound like I'm talking underwater. <laughs> That's what me and Ollie used to say about Paige. Paige this is more house. Yeah. <laughs> Dumb. Um, basically, you just got to say man, like like under your breath. Man. That's a, that's that's a great one <laughs> right there. Hey, uh, so, uh, whose is owner of the most educated feet in professional wrestling? One half the baddest team on God's green. Uh, oh well, Pete, seeing as you've had such a brainwave, let's I, start with you. So, I originally had Dax Harwood for this one because you know feet, cool tag team. But then I thought more about the feet line, most educated feet, and I was like, who kicks a lot? You know who retweets himself constantly of him kicking people. It's only bloody Bobby Fish, isn't it? Bobby <laughs> Fish. Interesting. Luke. I went for Kyle O'Reilly. He does the kicking. He does the kicking. <gasps> Luke. So I can hear Morrow saying the baddest team on God's green. So it's one of the two. And I've also gone for Bob Bobby Fish for the kicking videos. Bobby Fish. And he does Alex do that a lot. I actually saw him tweet with this hashtag not long ago. So I actually do believe it is Bobby Fish. Oh, oh my God. I'm a genius. Uh, you are indeed a genius, Q-tip. Q-tip, closest thing you get to the brain. It is Bobby Fish. Hell yes. Yeah. He does love to kick a guy. Yeah, oh, but he right. hasn't got the most educated feet. That's Rob Van Dam. We all know that. <laughs> Gimmick infringement. Uh, right O. So next one, uh, whose is this? Pro wrestler, ballsy badass, filthy Filipino. Uh, it, it must be stressed that pro wrestler is in lowercase, but ballsy badass and filthy Filipino is in uppercase. I think uh, I've got it. Wrestling on weed says, it's my birthday. Here's five bucks to buy me a drink. Thanks in advance. Happy birthday, wrestling on weed. Happy New Year. I already said that one earlier. I was struggling to think of other holidays off the top of my head. Happy it's Christmas. Yom it's Yom Kippur coming up soon. Wish us a happy Yom Kippur. Happy Yom Kippur wrestling on weed. Uh, Freddie Arandondo says, Splosion FTW. Yes, please. Get rowdy. Q-tip sucks. Jam that jam. We have had a severe influx of catchphrases uh, in the last, you know, four or five months. No, nothing, nothing to do with me. Uh, right. Uh, next up. it. Uh, oh, no. So whose is this? Uh, Luke. Oh, shit. Have you got something um, like that? Yeah, I have. Shotzi Blackheart? I have no idea. Shotzi Blackheart? Pete? I haven't got anything written down. Nothing written down? Goodness I me. I don't know. Do you want to make a guess? I don't want to offend anyone, because it says Filipino in the bio, and if I get it <laughs> wrong, that's going to look real bad. So I know, no. I'm, I'll be honest, Pete, that's what I'm worried about. Yeah. Uh, Louis? I am 100% sure Shotzi Blackheart is Filipino, so I don't mind saying Shotzi Blackheart. Shotzi Blackheart, Alex McCarthy. I remember being surprised to learn that, that she was, so yeah, also... I hate everyone. Shotzi Blackheart, you should have had the courage of your I know. Filipino convictions. It's Shotzi Blackheart. There she is. No mention of a tank. You'd have thought, wouldn't you? But she did say balls. Welcome to the ball pit. That's also mm. a thing that she likes to say. Oh, yeah, she does say that. Oh, mm. oh, oh, oh. Uh, mm. <laughs> uh, See, she stapled something to her chest. I saw that. She's mental. Nutter. She is. She was doing a promo. She just stapled like a piece of paper to her chest. Good. For she her. also she also thought that Retribution's uh, segment on Monday was badass, and she said, "Where could I sign up?" So I think she's a bit nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm, okay. I'm right. I'm right in thinking because the only other person I could think of that was Filipino. TJ Pays Filipino, isn't it? I think so. I think he is as well. But then I thought, but the, the Twitter bar doesn't say anything fucking stupid, so it's probably not. <laughs> 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 oh, he's not he's not as bad as flip jesus oh God, flip gordon we're not giving yeah. the fucking platform to flip gordon right uh who is this void oh fuck, fuck. void <sighs> who is that um misha sumra said drop my plan to become a patron backer when luke was fired now he's back and bringing discounts i've treated myself to a year hashtag hey. legend thank you well thank done. you Oh, move. Also, frequent commenter for Warcaster, my D&D &D YouTube channel you should definitely go and subscribe to. Thank you, everyone. 
you should absolutely go and subscribe to that. Like Q-Tip, Q-Tip's a, a real dickhead, but that Pete guy who hosts on Warcaster, he's a lovely dude. Uh, and Warcaster is a fantastic channel. Everyone should video coming tomorrow. Ooh, you, what's it on? Uh, it's uh, how the average lifespans of player races are really stupid and they don't make any sense. That's elves, like... live, elves live for 750 years. I love micro law bullshit. I am yes. signing up. Get it in my brain now. Right. Uh, who wrote Void on their Twitter bio? I'm going to start with Alex because Alex, I think, knows. So... I, I think I know. I remember he made the change after he went away for a few weeks. Um, is it this man? Alistair Black. Louis? I've also gone for Alistair Black. It's not good for me because I just gone for Kevin Owens. Kevin Owens and Luke. Anyway. I didn't know. Slapjack and or T Bone and or Mace. <laughs> T Bar. <laughs> oh T Bar, sorry. Uh, come along now, folk. Uh, can confirm that Alistair Black is <laughs> living in the void ever come since. Back, come. Ever since he went all 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 evil, and he's got one eye now. He's got yeah, one eye. But, but wrestles eye? with both. But wrestles with both eyes. He wrestles. That's so weird. And he Love does. It. He took it off for the match. Yeah. What? Willy nilly. Fair yeah. enough. Fair <laughs> enough. It's you know it's something. Um, just a kid at heart, living his dreams. When I fly, we all oh, for... fly together. Oh, okay. right, Positive yeah, yeah. vibes so... only. Hashtag superheroes are real. Uh, oh God, I, I feel I feel like that's I haven't been this short since the Iron Sheik. <laughs> yeah, same. Yeah. Bo I... Hill says, "Q tip." Is... Oh, sorry. Go on. Q... No, uh, Q tip is the name of one of the greatest hip hop artists and producers of all time. Part yeah, that's of... me. Part of group, a tribe called Quest. Pete should he be honoured. Uh, Hans Johansson says, "Happy birthday to me!" Yes, please. Yes, please. Uh, Lee Spicer says, "Is it just me, or does Alex look like Nuggets' evil twin?" He <laughs> 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 <I> wishes. <laughs> and... Uh, Jared Zimmerman says, good evening all. Today is my birthday. Could I get a happy birthday, Jared? Also, Luke Owen, your awesome. Could you give me the finger? Thanks, mates. Hashtag jam that jam. Hashtag Q-tip looks like a bearded corn dog. Not going to give anyone. I won't give anyone the finger, but I will give you the thumb. Ah, oh, no, uh, can I get a happy birthday, birthday Jared, from you, Luke? Oh, title of happy, second, sorry. happy birthday, Jared. Q-tip. Happy Easter. Uh, nug happy birthday. And Alex. Happy birthday, Jared. Delightful stuff. Oh, birthdays tonight. What, what, what a bloody... Oh, we oh, yes. also didn't mention it. We didn't mention as well. Tempest's birthday is, what, 1010? It's the same uh, day that They're Here debuted in TNA at uh, Bound oh, for Glory 101010. It's one of the Maybe. best wrestling angles ever. <laughs> Do I detect the hint of sarcasm? <laughs> <laughs> you remember that moment when Jeff Jarrett held up that sign that said "there her," but both words were spelt wrong. <laughs> Idiot. Right, so good. <laughs> Luke. Who is it? Yes, Go on, tell uh, me. Rick. That's Ricochet. Superheroes are real. Uh, Pete. Yeah, boy, Rick. Ricochet. Ricochet. He's definitely not leaving WWE. By the way, definitely. Not. Uh, <laughs> there it is. Ricochet, Wrestle Talks, favorite man. All right, three <laughs> across the board, delightful stuff. Technical Terminator, testing tried and true. Training tactics to tether tepid torso twisters. Hmm. Someone's got a thesaurus. Um, <laughs> So, uh, technical terminator testing tried and true training tactics to tether tepid torso twisters. Um, Omar Carranza has just given us five bucks. Thank you very much. Uh, Jalen McKenzie says, Which wrestler do you think has had the most damaged career from an unlucky injury? Career ends don't count for this. So, oh, people Mustafa have... Ali, Mustafa yeah. Ali, very good shout. I mean, Hideo Itami just kept mm, getting yeah. good. Um, I mean the revival. I like, say the revival was injured yeah. and one was injured. AOP, same deal. Oh, uh, Finn Balor. Tempest has just put in the private chat. We've got Finn Balor. Great shout. 
That's a great show. Yeah, but he has sort of come back. To, like, he's not really I... had his star diminish too, too much. Christian. I would disagree just because Finn Balor was the hottest thing in the company and then he got injured and then he was like, you're like sort of okay. But it felt like this was like the start of something new. And then they went, just kidding. Not anymore. Because he got injured. Karrion Cross, Poor bloke. Yeah, but I think Karrion Cross It's too early to say. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. But poor guy. Agreed. But I also think like Beasting yourself to the title, then immediately disappearing so people miss you. It's actually a really, like, it's a pretty good tactic. Um, fucking he'll, separate he'll, your shoulder and see how that feels. Maybe I'm fucking will <laughs> nugget. Pipe the fuck down. <laughs> right. Sorry. Sorry. I'm a little wound up. Uh, <laughs> what, have we, what have we got? Uh, Louis, how about you? Let's start you off. I mean, I went for Timothy Thatcher, but he doesn't have Twitter. So I haven't got anyone. But can I make a guess? Uh, seeing as you're first, yes. Uh, I can't think the of The idea is to actually guess when you say that. Ken Shamrock. <laughs> Ken Shamrock. Alex McCarthy. Um, so just, just on the technical aspect, I, I just gambled with Drew Gulag. I have no idea if it actually is him, but I've gambled. Pete. Smart man. Also gone for Drew Gulag. Drew Gulag. Same Drew piece, but with Gulak question mark. I wasn't mark. sure. Oh, goodness gracious me. If they're all guesses, they're lucky guesses. It's true. Oh, hell yeah. yeah. Technical. He's a, he's a well-spoken man, and he does like his technical stuff. <laughs> it's such damning by faint praise. What a technical <laughs> wrestler. Um, <laughs> Technically <laughs> a wrestler. <laughs> all righty. Next up, skeptically optimistic. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen that. Oh, okay. Well, it's not flipped then, is it? Let's <laughs> <laughs> stop talking about stupid. him. Um, I, that capitalization is completely intentional. That's how of it course. appears in the bio. Skeptically optimistic. Howling into the wind. Uh, right. Uh, Jalen, uh, we've had that one. Uh, Dalton Harrell says, what will it take to get Mustafa Ali back on TV? He is so great and is wasting away on main event. Love what you guys do and are awesome. Hashtag get rowdy. Uh, yeah, a, a cruiserweight division. How about that? <laughs> it's wasted on NXT. Uh, don't get me wrong. I love the fact that the cruiserweights are given time on NXT, but they should be on the main roster because that's when you can actually have a proper division. Um, but yes, um, you either move him down to NXT where he'll put on some of the greatest matches of the year or move the cruiserweight to the main roster. It's such a shame. The cruiserweight's not a demotion. It could be an amazing division. Uh, Righto, uh, next. Shit. Oh, yeah. Do do write down oh. your answers, folks. Okay, I'll cool. one more time. Chat. I've you. got one more. Uh, Bradman2311 says, Adam, if Quizlemania 28 isn't you versus Adam Bacchisi once in a lifetime, you'd miss a golden marketing opportunity. That wouldn't be once in a lifetime, you say? That's exactly the point. I get it. Uh, Jesse Venable says, I switched my days off to Wednesdays just so I can watch a stream live. Huge fan wow. of both streams. Uh, Luke, you've got to finally beat Castlevania and record it. Mm -hmm. Pulling for a Luke retention. Yes, please. Yes, please. Don't yes. hold your breath on the Castlevania thing, though. All right. So, um, who wants to go first? I'll go first. All right, Luke's going to go first. I, I went through so many things. I was like, well, who shouts? It could be Warhorse. When we Warhorse, he'd have definitely said something about ruling ass. And I thought, it could be Hogan. He definitely would have said HH -H or something along those lines. So then I just thought, of who's a shouty wrestler? I've gone for Braun Strowman. He's a shouty wrestler. Braun! He didn't right. say anything about trains, but it could be him. <laughs> Pete. Uh, I've gone for someone who does all cap stuff a lot. I've gone for Oni Lorcan. Ooh. Oh, fuck. I like the method. That's I like a it. good shout. Louis. I also went for Oni Lorcan. I think you've taken something quite key out of this. So I think there's going to be some indications of the agricultural variety, and it's going to be RVD. RVD. And Alex McCarthy. I'm so annoyed because I know I've seen it, but I can't put my finger on it. And I've guessed Sami Zayn, but I can't see that Sami Zayn has that. And then Sami, <laughs> Sami for Syria straight after it. So, um, yeah, I can't imagine. Can confirm it is the man himself. It's Ronald Van Donald. Oh, oh my God. No way. So he tweeted something today about wanting 
to so like challenging the rock or something like that and i had a look at it and i remember seeing that and i was like oh shit it's rock. but i thought Stop i should eating, Louis. <laughs> that <laughs> is but that that's so un rob van dam like surely mm. it would be like have you seen my wife like yeah. or you know <laughs> or my weed <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Or my, yeah, or my weed, my educated feet. Fucking gimmick <laughs> infringement, Bobby Fish. Have you seen my wife? My wife. <laughs> my wife. Uh, right. That's Bobby his wife. gimmick and impact, in fairness. Yeah. Same Even when he's that. beating someone down and his wife is just. It works well, <laughs> over. It's the best gimmick in wrestling. It's so yeah. funny. <laughs> Finally. Why did it all turn out like this for me? I had so much promise. I was personal. I was bright. Well, maybe not academically speaking, but I was perceptive. What? That's a wrestler's bio. That's a, that's on... a tweet. It's a tweet from someone who's very sad. <laughs> that, that's a tweet from a 15-year-old girl. That's what that I was is. Gonna say, I'm pretty sure one of my cousins has uh, posted that on Facebook before. Has yeah. someone checked that Gerard Way is all right? Um <laughs> Bobby Hill, um, that ain't my purse, I don't know you, said just finished a 13-hour shift, but won't let it stop, uh, won't let it miss, uh, make me miss a Quizzlemania, and yay for overtime, so here, take my money, Google, uh, glad Luke is back, hashtag, yes please. Yes please. OG Slapjack says, loving the show, been wanting Alex on for ages, how about getting nerd cubed on the show, just ask Stephen Larson how great he is, I have heard of this nerd cubed. I've heard he is also great. Uh, and the Adnap2 says, screw you, Luke. Disturbed is my favorite band. I don't no, even care that I'm paying money to admit it. No, it's not. It's no one's <laughs> favorite band. <laughs> Just lying to yourself. All right. Uh, so uh, has everyone got an answer written down? Yes. Oh, yes. He's wrong, but yeah. All right, Alex. <laughs> yeah. If you say so, let's start with you. Um. Oh, I swear I've seen this, and it's, it's a woman in WWE, her profile bio, I could be wrong, but I think it is. Um, so I've literally just gambled and gone with Charlotte Flair, even though it says nothing about Queens. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> and Nugget. Ollie. Ah, fabulous he. Uh, Pete. Yeah. Uh, I had no idea, so I just went for Dolph Ziggler. <laughs> He's here to show the world his yeah. all black bedroom. It's uh, my cousin. <laughs> <Carol in 2000. laughs> best I've got. <laughs> Can confirm that bio belongs to the one, the only Big E. No what? I was really close though. Yeah, we've, got we've got a fact check. We've got a fact check. What's going on, Tempest? Tempest? Can I help you? Yes, I, uh, I'm here to inform anyone who doesn't know that that is a Seinfeld quote, which is uh, might explain a little bit more of that. And also, it still uh, doesn't. No, no. I don't, but it gives a little more context. Uh, an answer I didn't think of, but have seen in chat for the last question about injuries derailing people's career, Mr. Kennedy. That's a good shot. Good one. Randy Orton as well, though, and Randy Orton. Mm. Yeah, yeah, Randy Orton <laughs> thought of derailed his career. A yeah. <laughs> bad back body but, drop. Uh, the, the worst part of it is it was a misdiagnosis as well. He was diagnosed with a torn tricep, went to TV, told them, and they made him lose the Money in the Bank briefcase to Edge oh, that yeah. night, and yeah. went that same week to go and get surgery. And the doctor like squeezed his arm and said, that's not torn. You just have like a broken blood vessel. But they'd already done the whole the whole gimmick and lost the the thing to edge. So. Didn't the injury yeah. cost him B. McMahon's son as well? It did. Oh, yeah. 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 Wasn't that a wellness yeah. policy? Yeah. Yeah. That was well, had more. Ah, no, that was right. He was, he was injured at in the time. time. He's but, just had. Oh uh, right, I was because I remember him being off TV for a yeah. long time. Yeah. He had torn his pec, I believe, and then he was going to be brought back as Vince's son, and uh, the wellness deal kind of put the kibosh on that came back a lot yeah. smaller because vince's son thing was like 2007 seven. Seven, yeah. i was gonna say i was seven. at university so yeah, seven. Seven. yeah right oh of course I, yeah, I just I, graduated and i remember what it coincided with yeah thank you tempest very much for fact checking really appreciate that uh that's the end of that round biology thankfully yeah well i mean you guys still did better than i thought you would the scores are again tight in last place with 45, it's Alex. Oh. In third place with 47, it's Louis. 
No, sorry. In third place with 47, it's Pete. Mm. It's Pete. Uh, in second place with 51, it's Louis. In first place with 57, it's Ooh. Luke. Mm, it's starting to get a little cramped in here. Delightful stuff. It is. All right, next up, it is everyone's favorite. It is the Artist Collective. Oh, wait, I'm wrong. The Artist Defective. Excellent <laughs> stuff. So the way this works is I'm going to pair you up into teams, first with last and second place with third place, which means that, Luke and Alex, you are a team. Pete and, uh, sorry, Pete and Nugget, you Shit. are a team. Uh, I'm going to give one by one each team member like a wrestler. Uh, everyone else closes their eyes. Then uh, you got 30 seconds to draw that wrestler. Couldn't be simpler. Uh, if your teammate can guess it, you both get five points. If they can't guess it, I open it up to the group. And if uh, whoever buzzes in with their own name, uh, if you could all practice saying your own name out loud in three, two, one. Not Luke. Q-tip. Thank you. My name. Pain Blade. Uh, Pain Blade. Pain Blade. Okay. You're welcome. Uh, so, uh, or your real name, it, it's fine. Um, then, if you buzz in and get it correctly, then you get three points by yourself. Pretty, pretty good to steal. Right. Uh, so, first up, we're going to have the person uh, in last place. So, Alex, this is for you to draw. Oh, sorry. I did forget one vital part. Oh the round oh, uh no. you'll be drawing this person with the pen oh no in your mouth oh shit <laughs> would be horrendous yeah and you thought my drawings couldn't get worse oh uh -huh. Pete, oh I boy wait to see it Pete. so yes uh in the artist defective you are drawing not with the pen in your hand but with the pen in your mouth uh yes nugget jason jordan for the injuries i, I was gonna say that but wasn't career ending not didn't count right yeah it's very good very good very good to everybody points points all over, points all around all right so uh, alex this is for you to guess could everyone else please close your eyes all right alex you've got 30 seconds to draw da -da 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 hang on have i written it down no, I haven't. Right, I haven't written. Come on, Adam. Yeah, I'm doing well. Don't worry about me. Hang on, two seconds. <laughs> I'm shit at this. Right, you've got 20 seconds to draw this, mate. Oh dear. Yeah, indeed. Right. Oh, everyone, you can open your eyes. 30 seconds Adam, on. The come clock. on, mate. You had three hours while we played Monopoly to get this sorted. <laughs> what you been playing at, mate? It's the weirdly, like, normally this round is absolutely fine. I was so sure I'd actually written all these down. Just writing them all now. It's fine. So we won't, uh, you got 15 seconds left. What's this? You got this, Alex. You got this, Alex. And we are done. Magnificent. Uh, three, two, one. Stop drawing, please, mate. All, all right. right. So, uh, show us your masterpiece, please. Can't wait. Oh, that, that, oh that's, no, that's really good. This is a very that, that's that's Kane. It's got to be Kane. It's got to be Kane. Yeah, that would be Kane. That was look how good that, that, that is. With that your is Kane. Master that's a proper Kane out. mask. Look at that. That's look, good. How'd you get at those lines? I'm just. I'm uh, gonna say now as well. It must be so much easier to draw on a whiteboard instead of this on a bit of paper. <laughs> this is going to be terrible. You, you know how Quizzlemania works, Pete. I always <laughs> recommend Sharpies. You know this. Very well done. Five points That's to awesome. the team of Alex and Luke. How did you draw with your mouth like that? Incredible. Right. Uh, next up, a uh, person in third place, which is Q-Tip um, for your team. Everyone else, please close your eyes. Close your eyes, Louie. Thank you. Okay. Right. You got 30 seconds to draw this. Okay. All right. Your 30 seconds starts now. <laughs> Look at him go. Look at him go. I didn't know. Uh, Keza 2 k one says, hello, guys. Been a long time since I've watched this, but I'm happy to see good old Alex McCarthy on the show. Couldn't resist 
watching. Uh, Jordan Trapita says, Star Wars Retribution, T. Bar Bar Binks, Mace Window, uh, Banjo, Slapjack, Fett. And also, what is your favorite Otisism? Mine is the one time he said, oh, and then he said, yeah. Three, two, one. All right, Pete. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, dear, Pete. Oh, dear, Pete. <laughs> I'm Pete just going to say, this isn't a drawing. Um, because the pen doesn't bloody work on the paper. So if you manage to get this, Louis, I'll be stunned. Because this this isn't a drawing. This is this is that. That's all I got. Because I can't. The pen doesn't work on the paper, so I can't draw anything. I mean, this isn't a a drawing issue. It's a logistic issue. So can Pete go and get another pen? I mean, I'm I'm borderline willing to give you another thirty seconds because that that's nothing, Pete. That that's correct because the pen doesn't do the thing on the but thing. Pete, Pete, <laughs> go and get a pen, mate. I'm going to read some I, super chats and you. Get I mean, I don't know if I got another pen that will work. Pete, it's Quizlemania, Pete. It's the highest. Pete, pen. Oh, use some right. ketchup. Use some ketchup. <laughs> Who would you, Pete? Who'd have thought that Pete right. would be the Wale of this Quizlemania? <laughs> hey, 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 hey. I haven't been on Quizlemania since we were allowed to draw with our hands. You know, that's what I was expecting. Pete, do you have another pen? I do might have a, have a Sharpie somewhere. Go Maybe. and look for it, Pete. I'm okay, I'm going to look. Would you look at that? Michelle literally just oh, handed we, me a pack of we, Sharpies. We, ready, we may have one. you got five, mate. <laughs> yes. Got enough for you. Look at this fucking guy swimming in Sharpies like Scrooge McDuck in coins. I bought them ages ago for like drawing D&D maps and I haven't used them. So <laughs> they'll come in handy now, I guess. Very, Thanks, very Michelle, good. Thanks, Michelle. I really appreciate Everyone's, that everyone's doing an impression of you now. <laughs> and we're kneeling it. <laughs> You've got a wee Sharpie from my fiance. <laughs> <laughs> I've got five of them, Pet. It's not even close. It's genuinely not even close. Oh, it's spot on, dear. Great money. <laughs> right. are, are you ready to go? Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you, Michelle. Yes. <laughs> thank Hashtag you. thank you, Michelle. Hashtag thank you, Michelle. <laughs> Yours was in a Geordie accent. It didn't really count as a thank you. So she'd understand it. I see. It is sharp. Right. Hold on. Wild. Oh, oh, that's a that fresh snap. Spicy. Okay, that does that does in fact work so that's step one you have 30 okay. seconds do i get another 30 seconds yeah, yeah. <laughs> because, because, because pete you didn't draw anything <laughs> i know i'm you, the one that tried to draw you drew I the hope, hope of something <laughs> i hope now you just like sketch around your original drawing <laughs> <laughs> right 30 seconds on the clock starting right, now get to it Bailey Green says, first time I'm not working on a Wednesday in for goddamn ever so. Uh, glad I get to watch you guys. Also, my retribution name is The Gronk. Do let us know what your retribution name is. Uh, Avinash Manga says, I'm finally watching one of these live. Hello from New York. Uh, hello. Uh, thanks for a lovely time with the boys and for inspiring me to host The Price is Shite via Zoom this Friday. Hashtag jam that jam. Hashtag ban SRS. Brilliant. Always nice to see more bootleg Quizlemanias in the wild. Two, You're one, great. stop drawing Pete. Now this is I mean, be brilliant. I mean, it's pretty similar to what I drew last time. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> I, I won't comment yet because I was going to say something, but I'm not allowed to. So I'll put this up here. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> hell. <laughs> Looks like the thing from the end of Watchmen. <laughs> hey, what the fuck is that? <laughs> hey, man, I, d I don't know if you know, but drawing with a penny mouth is actually really hard. How did you draw? We've had oh, after the case by Alex before. McCarthy. <laughs> right, I, I've not figured out the techers yet to get this right. All right, I was, I was, I had to readjust my mouth positioning on the sharpie midway through. It was all sorts of terrible. Is that the Ghostbusters logo? <laughs> <laughs> okay, my guess is... Oh, moon. <laughs> my guess is the gobbledygooker, because it looks like it's got some feathers. It is not the gobbledygooker. I am opening up to the floor. You can buzz in with your own name, but God help you. I mean, uh, Luke. If anyone gets this. Yes, Luke. Butterbean. 
It's not butter bean. I see right. why though, with the head. He's yeah. got a very pointy head, like he's in the burbs. And Alex um, McCarthy. Yeah. Um, oh God. <laughs> like Ministry of Darkness Taker. <laughs> That's a brilliant guess. It's not right though. So it's do, not. Do you want to explain who it is and how you've drawn him? Um well um oh, oh no yeah, yeah. Uh, Why? so so I so I somehow I, I I somehow gave him three legs. Didn't mean to do that. Um uh the the arm that's holding up is supposed to be doing him doing the thing that he did. Uh and this thing in the middle that looks like feathers there. That was originally supposed to be a big singlet, but it kind of went a bit awry. So he's got you know. wings. He's doing <laughs> Does a dance. To also do psychological tests to figure out. If <laughs> are fucking insane, hey man! I've got I've got the techers down now. I know that it's really bad if you just do your mouth on the very end of the sharpie because it goes all over the fucking shop. Jesus. So I now I've got the techers that without down. doing it. Yeah, no, I Jeez. was under pressure. Okay, I'd already failed my drawing once, Louis. Close to hey. the nib, mate. Close to the nib. Yeah, I know that now. All right. I'll be all, Pink, I'll once, be better next time, Pink, I promise. Pink, once you explained it, mate, it was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Savage Gardens. Uh, Luke, <laughs> it is your turn to draw. Everyone else, oh, yeah. please close your peepers. Kids in glass houses and all that. All right, Luke. Uh, 30 seconds to draw this. Fuck hell. Right. <laughs> 30 seconds on the clock, starting now. Look at his dome fly. Chris Hutchins says, I love playing Crush Hour on my GameCube, even now. Glad that prick Oily Davis is gone. Uh, this week, giving Luke a yes, please. Q-tip, go somewhere else. Nice hair, Adam. Lying bastard. And Louis, don't come last. Hashtag JTJ. Louis doing much better than last. Uh, Brian Dawes says, hey, guys, hope you're all doing well, given the restrictions in the UK. Here's a question. Which Joe Hendry entrance is your favorite? Hashtag jam that jam. Uh, stop drawing, please, Luke. Luke? Luke, stop drawing. Oh, Jesus. And the Jeez. correct answer to that question is, he came in in a Hendry ball. Uh, it's when yeah. he put himself in a, in a big inflatable ball and rolled down the ramp. I, I was going to say that as well. But the one that actually came to mind instantly was, and Joseph Connors, because oh. you and I reviewed it quite recently. And I was listening to the Union Underground. You little WCPW homer, you. Appreciate yeah. that. Uh, right. Uh, so, uh, Luke, do you want to display your masterpiece? Yeah. Good, good luck, Alex. Alex. Yes. <laughs> Who is this haunted, haunted figure? Is that meant to be armpit hair? <laughs> I, I mean, Luke can't answer you. Would that he right. could? I've got no chance of getting this, so I'm going to run to the toilet. Fair Have enough. Fun. Um, I mean, <laughs> what? I can't even begin to dissect this uh, this <laughs> image. Um, <laughs> any woman ever, apparently. <laughs> I mean, he has he does appear to have drawn boobs, but it does it's difficult to tell. It is. Mm. Uh, okay. I'm gonna have to push you for an uh, for a guess, a specific guess. I am going to say um, Shayna Baszler. It is not Shayna Baszler. Pete, would you like a guess? Um, Alundra Blaze. It is not Alundra oh, Blaze. Louis. Louis, would you like a so, guess? It's a woman. Based on the fact she's got no head on the top of her hair, I think it's someone that's had their head shaved. So I'm going to guess uh, Molly Holly. That's such a good guess. Uh, Luke, explain how it's Lita. <laughs> no, <laughs> I, I, I thought to myself... How the smeg do you draw Lita, like even with your hand? So I just drew a woman, and then I thought, oh, I'll do that big arm tattoo thing she's got, and then I ran out of time. Um, <laughs> oh, so nice. that, yeah, yeah, yeah. The arm tattoo there. I spent too much time on the boobs. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Title of your sex date, mate. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's hard. That that's one, mate. That's Lita. I would have done the little thong bum. Do a little thong, <laughs> the thong bum. That's what I would have done. The it's not in the spotlight, isn't it? <laughs> it does make sense when you've explained it, though. Right, uh, Louis. Come on, Step. then, Louis. Let's see Step. what you've got after you've roasted mine. 
It's time uh, to see who's the phony tough and who's the crazy brave. Um, everyone else, please close your eyes. I'm sorry. Uh, Louis, you got 30 seconds. Draw that. All right. Louis is off to the races. You can all look again. Nick. Even Tempest is saying should have drawn the thong. Yeah. Nick, Nick, Tempest. Nick Mazesco has given us $50. Nick Mazesco. Nick Mazesco. Nice. He's a $100 uh, patron backer. In fact, he is. became a hundred dollar patron back of this month. Love the personal video from Luke and Ollie. Thanks for the content every week. Cheers from Detroit. Hashtag slap that Jack. What bloody lovely fella. Thank you so much, Nick. And he's Adam. got another one coming his way as well. Oh, amazing. Yeah, with uh, me and Pete. Stop drawing, Louie. Louie, stop drawing. What did we do on Nick's one again? Oh, I can't remember. Wasn't that the origins of... There was not the, Haunted Lady one. It, was it the Haunted been... Lady? I can't remember. No, There's lots of things we did today. Look out for it, though. It's going to be good. Yeah, yeah. Lovely stuff. <clears throat> All right. Uh, so, uh, Nugget, if you want to show your masterpiece to the camera. What we got? Okay. All right, Pete, say what you see. Okay. Okay. So there's a person on the left. There seems to be a table... And then there's a person puking a box. Uh, hmm. Uh, just as a as a uh, point of order, I guess for this, Adam. Uh -huh. Does this include Does this include tag teams? Yes. Is it the Dudley Boys? It's the Dudley Boys. Oh, very, very nice. Very good, Louis. Very uh, nice. So, so this was a cube. Right, which is a three-dimensional shape. Oh, oh that's really, really not really needed, but nice. <laughs> it just right. confused things. Okay, I, I thought he was saying get the tables, and you were just doing like a yeah. Table. That's what I thought. I thought it was. A that's speech what I was doing. You're right, Adam. Yeah, yeah, mm. I, I see. Mm. Uh, Righto, uh, very well done. Five points to Louis and to Pete. Very good drawing, in fact. Give the nice, props to you. Uh, we're going to go round. One more time. Uh, Alex, step yep. right on up. If everyone could please close your peepers. Alex, um, let's see you draw this. Can someone confirm oh, he's wow. definitely doing it with his mouth? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think, yeah. Can we look? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got, he's got his arms in the... He's got his hands in the air. Like, he just don't care. He's definitely doing it with his, with his mouth. Now that we're all staring at the top of your head, Alex, I hope you don't feel... <laughs> <laughs> uh, Adam Draven says, "Evening, folks. Potential round idea. Name that finisher." Adam gives the technical component, e.g., half Nelson somersault reverse DDT. Uh, folks have to name the finisher and the wrestler. That one is for Tempest. I actually really like that's that. A, that's a Destino, right? Uh, I half Nelson somersault reverse D. I mean, reverse DDT somersault does sound like a Destino for right? sure. Stop drawing, please, Alex. Tempest has given me a thumbs up. I did a New Japan, everybody. Nice. <laughs> nice. You do the G1 coverage, Pete. <laughs> Kwong style. All right. Um, uh, Alex, let's see your drawing, please. <laughs> How is that with your mouth? What's I did. Jesus. Are you, a, he, are you a secret genius? And once again, it's quite obviously Scott Steiner. Yeah! yeah. Incredibly muscly man. <laughs> what? How is this? I assume like, the arrows are how out. Is... Exactly. The arrows pointed at the muscles. And that, that's, that's all I could go with, how massive he is. Because I did start to draw the chain thing that he, he wore on his head. And I realized it wasn't going to work. So I went, OK. Yeah. Can the I only other thing I'd have drawn is a siren. So, yeah. yeah, just doing that. Uh, my favorite description. My favorite description I've ever seen of uh, Scott Steiner is that he looks like skin has been pulled over bowling balls. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Is this a in wrestling fails, Alex? Genuinely, go into drawing with your mouth. I know. <laughs> I didn't know this until today. Yeah. Dude, you could sell this at wrestling shows. Like yeah. you could, like people form a line. They just say, "Draw me this," and, yeah. just, and sell it. Like it quite a pop. Yeah, yeah. quite a pop, mate. It's an be absolute swimming. gimmick. Thirty seconds to draw a wrestler with your mouth, and yeah, I uh, well, you you're welcome. You feel free to use that. Make a bit of money, uh, right? Fifteen percent. 
Yeah, exactly. Well, Actually. we'll work out the details later. But uh, next up, it's Pete again. Genuinely, Pete. Cannot wait for this, mate. Uh, it's right. Lower down. I'm lower I'm, down. I'm going to deep throat the pen this time. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the way you got to do it. Mm -hmm. All right. Doing. Everyone else, please close your eyes. All right, Pete. You ready? Yeah. Yeah. All right. And your 30 seconds starts now. Alex Lord says, Alex, Comets forever. Ah, I used to, his, um, his old man used to run our reserve team. There you go. Oh, right. oh amazing. Um, Tempest559 says, by far my favorite way to spend a Wednesday. Love you all, but I'm going to root for the best heel in wrestling. Corporate chopper. By the way, just wanted to say, you look nice with short hair. Not true. If you're talking to me, not true. Uh, and A-Bomb Play says, the Nexus WWE return has been put on hold due to the introduction of the rule of six. Very good. Uh, stop drawing, please, Peter. It's pretty funny. I'm so excited. You didn't get that far down the pen, Pete. You need to work on your reflex. Mate, I've got Hello, really that reflex. <laughs> All right, Pete. Let's see what you got, mate. <clears throat> Are you sure? Go on, Pete. Is that you? Oh, I actually know. I, it, that's Edge with the hands. Holy shit! <gasps> yes, that's say, mate. Zoe. Absolutely, it's a yes. One hundred percent. What a great drawing! Yeah. <laughs> Deep throat in the pen works. Like what a great edge, drawing! Edge with the with, with yeah. yeah yeah he's doing that. That's that's what it's for. Can, can oh, I ask it again? Please. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I messed it up entirely. Like I I went the wrong direction for this bit, and then I had to yeah. cross it out. <laughs> but... yeah, I, I was thrown off by the the claw. <laughs> yeah yeah yeah. So you like him just doing that instead, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Say, looking at your setup, Pete, and with your two tone with your two tone walls and your sort of shirt underneath a jacket combo, you sort of look like a policeman detective kind of guy in a really low budget British porn. <laughs> <laughs> and in it, I am in fact deep throating an object. So you know, <laughs> we get we're getting somewhere. Well, it Pikachu looks, looks on. <laughs> this looks. <laughs> like a really weird beginning of a Brazzers movie. Right. <laughs> is Luke. It can only be Luke. Shit, indeed. Come on, Luke. Yes. All right, Luke, you ready? Uh-huh. All right, everyone close your eyes, please. Luke, 30 seconds. Oh, ho, ho. <laughs> <laughs> 30 seconds on the clock. Amro says, according to Urban Dictionary, T-bar means a thong sticking out of pants and slapjack means ejaculating in your hand and then slapping someone in the face. Yeah. <laughs> Luke, <laughs> knows things, yeah. Luke, knows, Luke knows these things. He, he's, yeah. lived, he's lived in Reading. He understands. <laughs> David Sainz says, I hope no one attempts a shooting star press for tonight's 19th Quizlemania. Hashtag jam that jam. And Rian Nocta says, lost my dog today. Oh no, oh. I looked at him for five hours, turned on Quizlemania and got a text saying, he'd been found. D oh. Time up, Luke. Time, Time up, Luke. Time Stop, Luke. Drawing. Stop drawing. Stop drawing. Luke. 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 Jesus, you uh, big all cheater. Because of, all because of Quizlemania. Um, love the interviews. Alex and finding my dog is all because of you guys. I mean, we'll take it. Absolutely. Why not? Totally. You're just wiping some drool off your chin there. I did, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, Luke, yeah. let's see what you got. Speaking of Brazzers movies. Oh! <laughs> oh! 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 Oh, God, I know yeah. what it is. Me. Oh. It's me next. No, fuck off, Louis. It, first, first to buzz in with their own name once I give up the floor, but Alex is the first to guess. I mean, it looks... It's, okay, it's just a big ejaculating penis, yes? <laughs> um, <laughs> um, Val Venus? It's not... Louis, Louis, Louis. I, I did hear Pete first. I did hear Pete first. Is it China with the bazooka? It is China. No. <laughs> Three points. Yes. To Peter. Alex, you even mentioned the bazooka, man. I was pulling for you. I mean, oh, man. Sorry, it, was, mate. it was a penis bazooka, in fairness to yeah, me. Yeah, I know. True. Which, it, yeah, it, that was my fault, mate. Let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> Very penisy. Right. Final. It's Louis. Genuinely, genuinely can't wait to see what you draw here, Louis. I'm very excited. Everyone else, please close your eyes. And this is for you. All right, 30 seconds on the clock. <laughs> it's hard to have dignity in this round. Uh, the Masked Coyote, 
Hello, everyone. Um, yesterday was the 19th wedding anniversary for my wife and I. And we were married by the same woman that did Triple H and Stephanie's drive through wedding. No way. Wow. Imagine. Uh, both parties were awake, however. Thank you. Mm. That's amazing. And Nate drops surname, says Tempest <coughs> Tonight is the six-man tag. October 14th is the title match. Uh, potentially enough time for Lance to recover. Why would the six-man tag change? Stop drawing, please. Um, uh, Tempest is checking his own facts. Or, oh, fact check. Fact no, check. you are incorrect. I am always right. The championship <laughs> match is tonight. It is uh, September 23rd. Tonight, John Moxley versus Eddie Kingston. They can't do the six-man tag because Lance Archer can't wrestle on the show. Also, quickly, uh, I'm going to bring back an old uh, an old joke, seeing as she was mentioned twice. Who's Chinese, Pete? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I've been yeah. redeemed. All right, Louis. Here you go. What in the name of fuck is that? Okay, uh, Pete, say what you see. I don't know what I'm seeing. Uh, there's like a basin? Question mark? Something that they're standing on. And then what looks like... I actually don't know what it looks like. Come on. Couldn't tell you. Is that is that Japanese? <laughs> what yeah. do you see? All right. I'm all right, Louis. Louis. I mean, I can see like a circle and a line, which could be, you know, a person. But then I'm... I'm I don't know what else I'm seeing. That's like a that's like a whole mess of other stuff that's got in there. Uh, Gonna need an answer, Pete. So so sorry to rush you. Um. <clears throat> um. I'm gonna say Lord Tensai. <laughs> I don't Lord know. Tensai. I'm opening up to the floor. Luke or Alex, you can get you know buzz in with your own name if you want to. What in God's name is this? I mean, are, are there any chess-themed wrestlers? Because it looks like he's drawn a pawn. <laughs> it does look like a chess piece. It looks Someone like a chess piece. In. Come on. I'm trying to think. Who's, who's like, okay, so, uh, uh, Luke. Luke. Uh, I'm going to say Charlotte Flair because she's a queen. And that's Holy a shit. Piece. No. No. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Alex? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Um, yeah. 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 Uh, I will say... Oh, man. What the hell is it? It's like a platform. Um, yeah, I have no I idea. <laughs> oh, sucks. Uh, a kill, Roddy Piper. I don't know. It is not Roddy Piper. Um, what is this, Louis? Talk us through your working. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Just draw a snake, Randy mate. Orton. Just draw a snake. Randy Orton with a shit in a bag. Oh, come on. <laughs> draw a snake. Just draw Robert's, a snake. Okay, so if I think snake, I think Austin and Jake Roberts. Not all. Or the Viper. You have not, like, right. The shit, right, okay. shit in a bag. Okay. Shit in a bag. Right. Arms. If, if, you if you draw a snake, you might think Jake Roberts or the Rattlesnake or Randy Orton. If you draw that, then we think... Good so idea. we've got a chance, at least. But why is the Go shit and Randy Orton one? Why are they meshed into one? Nugget, you've taken a shit with your trousers on here, pal. I'm yeah, gonna... yeah, also, mate. mate. If you're if right. you're gonna say if you're gonna draw someone taking a shit in a bag, my first thought's X Pack. To be honest, <laughs> <laughs> in a sandwich. Come on now, get. Are you get... shitting a bag as well? <laughs> <laughs> he a... Yeah, he wants a, he, he wants shit in a Tupperware container and then sealed it and put it in someone's bag as well. Uh, it's yeah, it's yeah, it's one hundred percent a chess piece. Uh, yeah. So show us your show, show us your big show drawing again. Hey man, I didn't have the technique down. And after you drew a very good Dudley Boys, this is a fall from grace for you. <laughs> I apologize. Fact check. Uh, specifically, the bag that X Pac uh, shat in was Sable's bag. That's it, was Sable's <laughs> bag, yeah. But that, but it, it, they never said it was Sable. It was just some one, two, three kid that did it. <laughs> oh man. Fuck me sideways. Right, next, moving on. After that round, the scores on the doors are as follows. It's still one of the closest Quizomanias we've ever had there is 12 points between last place and first place i have i don't think i've ever seen that uh in last place with 55 it's alex in third place with 60 it's pete second place with 61 
It's Louis. And in first place with 67, it's Luke. Absolutely no laurels to be rested on here because we're entering into a trivia portion. Oh, oh no. Sorry, folks. Paper few. Oh, no. oh cock. That's a solid zero points to me this round. So the way this works is I have, it's five questions. Uh, each question is a pay-per-view. I am going to, there's five matches I'm going to give you as clues to try and guess that pay-per-view. Uh, if you get it from the first one, the most obscure match on the card, that's five points. If you get it from the next one, it's four, then three, then two. Then if you get it from the super obvious main event, you only get one point. It's still one point, and every point matters clearly. Um, so, yeah, um, it's buzzer rules, as usual. I will accept only, now this is to be clear, I will accept only your retribution names. <laughs> so uh, let's just have a quick test of your buzzers. Uh, Luke, test your buzzer. Explosion. Uh, Alex, test your buzzer. Something blade. Pain blade. Pain blade. I'm going to write Pain. it down. Yes. <laughs> Probably, just think, just think yeah. Bay Blade. Yeah, okay. Pain Blade. Um, uh, Pete, please test your buzzer. Q-tip. Louis, please test your buzzer. Nugget. It's really funny. <laughs> it's really I didn't funny. Hear I didn't hear Louis. Can we try it again? <laughs> Sorry, actually, yeah. I, there was a bit of feedback on the line. Mm. Can you test your buzzer again, please, Louis? Nugget. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Better every time. All right. Uh, so we are going to start with the First um, pay-per-view um, and the most obscure match on the card. Triple H versus Gold Dust. Explosion. Explosion. Right in there. Uh, Mania 13. It is indeed Mania 13. Very well done. Have you watched it recently or something? I listened to a podcast that reviewed it recently, yeah. Very, very good. Fine. Re I'm re-listening to season four of the Atridera podcast. Delightful stuff. Five points to explosion. Very, very good. All right. Next up. Uh, so, oh, so the ones we had left were Rocky Maivia versus the Sultan, Owen Hart and British Bulldog versus Mankind and Vader, Bret Hart versus Steve Austin submission match, and of course, Undertaker versus Psycho Sid. Right. <laughs> uh, next up, can you guess the pay per view from this? Q tip. Uh, uh, blade, face blade. Pain blade. <laughs> pain, pain blade. Q um, I'm just going to say, Q tip. Was Q -tip well clearly, oh, first. I, I, okay, genuinely, I thought that Louis said Q tip to try and dob you in it. So sorry, uh, Q tip. Please, please do go right ahead. I'm. I don't know, but I'm going to have a stab in the dark here, and okay. I'm going to say SummerSlam twenty sixteen. Oh. No. Ugh. Would anyone else like a guess? I would. Uh, Pain Blade uh, would. Um, so they, they did go at SummerSlam 2015. It is also wrong. So YouTube and Pain Blade are out. Would you like to move on to the next map? Um, Absolutely. That, that, that could be 20 different pay per views in one year alone. It was SummerSlam 2016. It was. Like, is it? Not, damn it. Not yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Uh, next up Rob Van Dam versus Alberto Del Rio. Uh, no, uh, 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 no, uh, no, what's my name? What's my name? <laughs> Nugget. Nugget. Oh my God. <laughs> Explosion um, is your name. Explosion. Thank you. 2013. Battleground 2013 is wrong. Explosion. <gasps> Oh, you... excellent. Um, I'm going to say uh, Clash of Champions 2013. So, <gasps> how do we want to handle this? Fucking nugget. Uh, <laughs> you have guessed already incorrectly. Look, I don't know what to do about this, lads. I really don't. Get Tempest in it. Get Tempest in it. It's wrong. wrong. It's wrong. It's Knight of Champions. Oh, right. The other name. <laughs> So I don't know what to do about that, lads, because obviously I think you pretty much. I, I got it was. I, think it, I, I, I was. Yeah. You might have said. Wrong, you might as well have said Hell in a Cell. It's not <laughs> not the same pay per view. Uh, tell you what, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to the comments section. Um, I say no. 
you say, oh, well, if, you, if, you, no. if you're willing to give up those points, I, I... It, was, it was borderline the same thing, but it's also not the same thing. The, no. the chat seems to say wrong as well. Wrong, yeah. wrong, well, Luke, wrong, wrong, so, wrong, sorry. wrong, Tempest. <laughs> wrong. <laughs> wrong. Okay, no points for anyone there. Uh, next up, uh, it is first match on. Oh, sorry, the other matches on the card were the Shield versus the Primetime Players, Curtis Axel and Paul Heyman versus <laughs> Punk. Christ. God, twenty thirteen, what a year! Oh, and yeah. uh, Daniel Bryan versus Randall Keith Orton. Next up, this is the first pay per view, uh, first match of the new pay per view number three. Big Boss Man versus the Barbarian. All right. Nobody's rushing in, no? No one's, nope. no one's Absolutely looking at, not. at this point. No one. I'm going to move right along. Three, two, one. The Mountie versus Coco Beware. This is worth <laughs> four points. This is this is the opposite of the reverse oh, no. music round. The Mountie... Q-tip. Q-tip. Why not? Um... Uh, SummerSlam 1997. 97? 97? Mm -hmm. Are you 97? high? The mountain? <laughs> mountain? I, don't, I don't know, mate. <laughs> <It's> 97. <laughs> Wait, did I say 97? I meant yeah. to say... Okay. Never mind. You know what? Chat just roast me. I wasn't supposed to say 97, but you know what? I said it. So, just, just roast me. Go for it. I... <laughs> Go for it, roast me. Explosion. 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 Um, I th I think is it Rumble ninety one? Oh, for God's sake! It is. Fucking hell! It is Rumble ninety one. Oh, yes. Very, very good indeed. Four points to Luke, and finally the pack is separating. Uh, yes, it was Rumble ninety one. The other matches on that card: Ted DiBiase and Virgil versus Dustin Rhodes, and not Dustin a good show. Uh, Sergeant Slaughter versus the Ultimate Warrior. Oh, Absolutely man. not. Wow. Although the crowd were hot as balls for that match. They always were like they always were like in that period of time. Mm. So the crowd was always really hot, but the shows were shite. And Rumble, Royal Rumble match was the <laughs> <laughs> one by one. Respect. By... Wait, 91? 91. 91. Was it Yoko? Was Did Yoko win the night? Flair was 92. Or was Yoko 93? Uh, Three. Flair was 92. Yeah. 92. One it was Hogan. One. It was Hogan. It was oh, Hogan. Hogan. Of course it was. Plus eliminating, I think. Five? Five. Five points? Tempest will tell us. Nilpa. Nilpa. All right, next up, Barry Horowitz versus Skip. <clears throat> Fuck me, man. If it's serious, Summer, Summer Slam 2020. <laughs> uh, no, no one wants to guess from Barry Horowitz versus Skip? <laughs> no, no, I don't. I couldn't even tell you like a, an estimation of what year this would be. I couldn't even tell you who Skip is. <laughs> really? From the bottom? Okay, fine. No worries. <laughs> I thought this one was bless you, bless you Michelle. Really easy, bless you, Michelle. Uh, Bret Hart versus ah, Isaac. Ah, yeah, ah, uh, that explosion. Pain explosion. Uh, pain blade. Yes, pain blade. You were there first. Oh, uh, come on. Ninety-five. Which one? Which pay per view? SummerSlam. I said SummerSlam ninety-five. Sorry, I didn't hear the first part. Absolutely bang on the banana. Feel the heat. Yank uh, right, Jack. There you are. So that is four points for you. Also on the card was Undertaker versus Karma, Shawn Michaels <laughs> versus Razor Ramon ladder match, and possibly the greatest main event in SummerSlam history, Diesel versus King <laughs> Mabel. King Mabel at that. Yeah. King Mabel sat on him and injured him. Yeah. Um, uh, we've, we've got a fact check, by the way, from, uh, uh, from our boy Tempest. Tempest? Sure do. Uh, Hulk Hogan last eliminated Earthquake to win the 91 Royal Rumble. Second fact check. Uh, Skip is Chris Candido. Louis, you know nothing of mm. wrestling. And uh, third and finally, you can go and check out Adam Blompier's list of the 10 worst main events in WWE history, which may just include Mabel and Diesel. Don't know if it actually does. You know. It does. I, I have to write it. <laughs> <laughs> I could have sworn oh. it doesn't. <laughs> yeah. okay. 
<laughs> revealing how the sausage is made, Adam doesn't even write his own scripts. I do! I do write them. Hang on, worse. Tempest just said he wrote every word of it. Oh, every, every single word. Literally like every, every single, single word. word. Every single oh, word. All the yeah. jokes and everything. You did set me up with uh, with the, the body of the script for that one. You do it, I and did. I... I, and I do believe that it was on that list because we said that Diesel is the agile one of that match, and that's that a bad thing. Your joke, I remember that was that was your joke that I kept. Very, very good. Well done. I have been exposed, and I hate it. <laughs> Bye, Tempest. Uh, okay, so next up, it was yeah, SummerSlam 1995. We're moving on to the final one, and that begins with Charlotte Flair versus Natalia. Oh, mm, no, nah, I really, uh, I really dived in. Um, yeah, so did I. Anyone want to jump in? No? I'm a, I'm a blues clue, mate. All right, next up, Baron Corbin versus... Lou! Oh, shit, man. <laughs> Do you need the toilet nugget? Nugget. Nugget. 2017. Mm-hmm. A SmackDown pay-per-view around this time. <laughs> okay. Um, okay. So they, oh, no, no, hold up. They did the backlash. It, uh, my mind's going to battle. I, I feel like I, I, I feel like he's just sort I of. Feel like you have to give an answer. Yeah, no, you have to give an answer yeah. when you buzz in. You <laughs> got to give an answer. I'm going for he Helen a Cell. My boy, oh, my yeah. boy, my beautiful oh, boy. Okay. Well done, Nugget. Very, very good. Cool. Uh, the other matches on that card, so four points, first of all, uh, to Louis. Very well done. Um, the other matches on that card were Randy Orton versus Rusev, Jinder Mahal versus Shinsuke Nakamura, let us never forget. And <laughs> the rematch. Kevin that... Owen, Hell in the Cell. Yeah, the rematch. The one, that, the one where he basically won clean because the Sings were sent to the back before the match finished. Delightful stuff. <laughs> well done. Quality, didn't come out. No, that's true. Right. Um, the scores before the final round. Uh, in last place with 59, it's Alex. In third place with 60, it's Pete. In oh, second God. place with 65, it's Nugget. And in first place with 76, it's Luke. Things are a little less tense, but of course there are 30 points up for grabs right now. So everything is still to play for. There is less than 30 points difference between last place and first place, which means anyone could win, which is a rarity for a Quizomania final round. And that final round is, of course, it has to be, except when it isn't, I can't find the link. Where are, There you are. Survival of the people who know the most about a very specific wrestling category all right so the way this works is you are all in to start with i'm going to give you a category uh starting from person in last place moving to the person in first place i'm going to ask you for the correct example in that category uh, if you get it right you stay in if you get it wrong you are out last person standing gets 10 points second person gets six third person gets two and the first person eliminated gets nothing all right so the first category that we are going to start with is summer slam main events chronological come on man and oh, mighty yes indeed so starting with the first summer slam summer slam 1988 Oh, we're going like oh, eight, eight, oh, with, we're oh, not going reverse. Chronological. Yeah. chronological. You dickhead. Tempest, can I uh, at least give them a starting platform? Can I at least get a confirmation that SummerSlam, the first SummerSlam was it 87 or 88? I think it might have been 87. It was 88, I'm pretty sure. Tempest, Tempest? nodded. It, yeah, it was 88. 88 first. Well, I don't. 88. Thank you very much, Tempest. So I need SummerSlam 88, then I need 89, then I need 90, 91, 92, 93, 94. You know how it goes. This is very, very, very hard. So yeah. what I'm going to do for this one, because it's normally reverse chronological order, I'm going to reverse the order. So we're going to start with Luke. Then we're going to go to Louis. Then we're going to go to Pete. And then we're going to go to Alex. Just I actually thought I had the first one. Oh, did you? <laughs> yeah. 
That makes I'm actually glad because that was one of the ones I was actually really sure on. <sighs> well, tell you what, would you like to go first, Alex? Or would you like to go last? Hang on. I, 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 I'd like Absolutely to go to shambles. But I'm, I'm afraid that I'm going to go first and get it wrong now. But I've, uh, I've said it now. I'll go first. Oh, bollocks. All right. What the hell, man? We're going we're gonna to do it the old fashioned way. That's ah. quite right. I just thought it was one of my weird, like normally the first answer is the easiest one. So that's why last place gets it first. But I actually think the first one might be one of the hardest. But Alex wants to go first. We really appreciate that. Alex, what is the right answer? Is it Mega Powers, Mega Bucks? It, hang on, I've got the SummerSlam 2020 thing up. Because <laughs> I'm an idiot. It is. to see. Uh, I am pretty sure it's uh, Mega it Power is, versus yeah. Mega Bucks, uh, but let me just get my shit together. Where? God damn it! Hang on a second. <sighs> let me just type in SummerSlam. There you are, SummerSlam, the main article. There we go. Yes, the first one was indeed Mega Powers, Hulk Hogan, Raggedy Savage versus the Mega Bucks, Andre the Giant, and Ted DiBiase with special guest referee Jesse the Body. Then. Sure. So Alex is still in. Very, very well done. Moving on to Q-Tip. I'm looking for the main event of SummerSlam 1989. I don't know. Um, I don't know. So I'm going to have a random guess. Okay. Um, SummerSlam 89. I feel like it was a significant show, and I feel like I probably should know what the main event of this show is. But I don't. Uh, I'm going to go for... Again, I'm probably off with my years because basically everything pre-2000 just blurs into one for me. So I'm going to go Hogan versus... Brutus Beefcake. I don't know. All right, that was incorrect. Uh, so, Louis, I'm actually going to need you to provide that answer. I'm pretty sure of this one. I think it's Zeus and Savage versus Hogan and Beefcake. Yes, absolutely right. Hogan and Beefer versus Randy Savage and Zeus to promote the awful film No Holds Barred. Uh, you watch so your mouth. That film is a masterpiece. Dookie! So was <laughs> Zeus in the ring. Um... Uh, SummerSlam 1990, I need from you, Luke. I believe, if my maths is correct, and I have got this in right order, that's where Warrior Rude? Yes, absolutely. Inside a steel cage. Oh, so geez. we are going to SummerSlam 1991. I'm not uh, going to lie. I partially wanted to go first because mathematically I knew 92. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And obviously everyone yeah. knows what that is. So um, that was that, that was what my yes was for when I just did the math and realized yeah, that's what, to do. That's what annoyed me. Um I think this is Hogan and Warrior again with Colonel Mustafa and Sergeant Slaughter. Can I get one more name from you? <laughs> oh what do you mean Colonel Mustafa Gen General Ad Adnan, whatever his name is? There you go. Yeah. That would be enough. I'm sorry. It's two on three handicap. I will give that to you. Well, that's the last little bit of help you're going to get from me. Right. <laughs> uh, SummerSlam 92, Louis, go on. Uh, Bret Hart versus British Bulldog. I'm absolutely fucked. I've been robbed. I've been robbed out of that easy answer. I'm, f yeah. I'm, I'm fucked, Bret. <laughs> um, <laughs> SummerSlam 93, please, a Luke. As Yoko Luger. Yes, it is. Ending in a stunning victory for Lex Luger. <laughs> a countout victory accompanied by confetti and balloons. What a load of horseshit. SummerSlam 94, one of my personal favourite SummerSlam main events. Uh, please, Alex. Isn't this um, Undertaker, Undertaker? It is Undertaker versus Fake Undertaker with Paul yeah. Bearer doing the light around the ring. It's so stupid. Uh, <laughs> excellent stuff. Correct. Uh, 95, please, Louis. Thank you, you Adam. Toasted on this. <laughs> yeah, I really have, haven't I? Um, it's uh, Diesel versus King Mabel. Very good. Yes, we mentioned it earlier in the stream. SummerSlam 96, Luke. 
was that is that sean vader it is sean vader for the wwf world heavyweight championship uh summerslam 97 we're getting into recognizable territory yeah. here um, Alex? it's uh is it brett hart taker it is Bret Hart Taker with Shawn Michaels as special guest ref. Um, SummerSlam 8, 1998, Louis. Um, is it Austin Taker? Yes, the highway to hell. Uh, 99, please, Luke. Uh, it's uh, Austin Mankind's Triple H, the triple threat where uh, Austin gets stuck in the ropes. <laughs> yes, that's right. Help, <laughs> help. <laughs> Again, <laughs> special guest ref Jesse Ventura. Uh, SummerSlam 2000, please, Alex. Uh, me and Louis actually looked at this not long ago. I believe it's the triple threat of Rock, Angle, and Triple H. It is indeed with a absolute beast of a concussion to poor Kurt. Lovely uh, dedication. Just smashed to the floor. Mm. Poor guy. And then they brought him out to wrestle again. <laughs> Uh, but apparently, time. so he was supposed to be taken out of the match. Uh, so, oh, really? He was supposed to be stretched and, out and then come back. So, so yeah, I was. Uh, so Alex and I did this for Fightful Select reviewed Summer Sam 2000, and uh, when we reviewed it, uh, I was doing some research uh, on the pay per view, what people were saying at the time, and one of the things was people said, "Oh, crap, at Angle's concussion," but not. It wasn't as bad as it could have been because he was supposed to be taken out, stretched off, then the Rock and Triple H have their bit. And mm. then Angle was going to come out in the main event uh, at, at the end of the, at the end of the match. Yeah, makes sense, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I need two thousand and one from you, please, Louis. Did you like that stalling for time? Um, so, this is post WCW. Uh, rock. Booker T. That was yes. on the card. Yeah, it was the WCW indeed. Title. It was indeed the main event yeah. uh, with Rock winning the WCW title. Um, SummerSlam 2002, Luke. Uh, that'll be Rock and Brock. Rock, Rock. Uh, no, SummerSlam Rock. 2003, please, Alex. Now I've been done a little bit here. <laughs> um, <laughs> I believe it is a elimination chamber. I'll need the competitors. Yeah, exactly. Come on. Um, I remember Triple H and Kevin Nash. Uh -huh. For the reason, Kevin Nash was marauding around with no hair um, after Jericho robbed him. Oh. Jericho okay. was always in those matches, wasn't he? Jericho is correct. Uh... So you got Triple H, Kevin Nash, Chris Jericho. Michaels, I assume. Michael's correct. Uh, oh, now it's getting really... Oh, oh hang on. Um, 2003, Goldberg? Yeah, I was waiting for you to say Goldberg. <laughs> yeah, um, member of that match. Fucking year. Um, oh, come on. It's in one fella. I'm going to fall out. Oh, I honestly don't know. Um, got this, mate. I believe in you. Uh, I'm just thinking like Raw. Uh, oh, I was just about to say Kane, but I think he had Shane McMahon, so I'm not going to say that. Um, <laughs> it's Randy Orton or Batista. One of the, one of the Evolution people was in with him, weren't they? Oh no, well you're obviously not in. Um, <laughs> I think Batista was injured, so I'm going to say Orton. Hey, correct, completely correct. Hey! Hey! Well done. Damn it, I was really hoping you were going to stumble on that. He was the only name that I, I had down. I couldn't remember Goldberg. Yeah, you know, I, had, Goldberg. I, had, I couldn't remember Goldberg. I had, I was in the, the year, and I was like, oh, shit, yeah. yeah. Same like, fuck, because I had Batista. Randy Orton was indeed in the chamber. Limmy Chambles itself. Uh, SummerSlam 2004, please, Louis. Uh, speaking of Randy, Randy and Chris Benoit. Very good. Um, how you doing, Pete? All right, cool. Uh, SummerSlam 2005, please, Luke. Uh, one of the greatest uh, wrestling pay-per-view main events of all time, of all of the times. It was actually <laughs> recommended to us recently as a match to show someone who's never watched wrestling before, which is the oddest suggestion I've ever heard. Um, <laughs> but Hogan Michaels. 
Octopus in a washing machine. SummerSlam 2006, <laughs> please, Alex. I believe it was um, Edge and Cena, but I, I, I might be wrong. I might be a year after. You are right. It is Edge ah. versus John Cena. SummerSlam 2007, please, Louis. Uh, Cena was champ. Uh, Rand, I think, yeah, Randy. Randy. Cena Randy. Correct. Uh, SummerSlam 2008, please, Luke. This is a proper blind spot for me now. Right, okay. I was out hey! of university. I was out of... Don't. I was out of university. Fuck. <laughs> do, you know, do you know why? I've realised what... I... I think I know this one, but not the next one, so I hope you fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's 2008 right yes yeah it's 2008 cool Nothing you can say shut up adam <laughs> before the show um, we talked about how luke is not a bad <laughs> guy not a competitive guy but it's just that when he's in the crunch and he has to think <laughs> he gets really angry when people when interrupt the in the trenches. Oh my god because I'm trying, I'm like, I'm trying to like rack my brain, and I could hear you and like just trying to needle me. Um, yeah, you can say, <laughs> and it works so well. I know. Um, fuck, I want to say it's just Cena Orton again because it seems like that'd be the sort of thing that they'd done around that time. It was a fucking boring product. Um, was it Edge Taker that year? Oh, very good. It was. Yes. Hell in a cell. I'm so screwed now. 20 sent him to hell. Literal Christian hell. Um, SummerSlam 2009, Mr. McCarthy. I, I, it's a bit like my other guess where I know it happened that year and I feel like it was a big one. I'm going to say, was it Punk Hardy? I don't know if it was the main event, but Punk Hardy. It was the main event because Taker nice. returned. Tempest, hello. You shut your dirty mouth, Luke. 2008 was a fantastic year for <laughs> WWE. Shut um, up, it was the year that I got into wrestling that year. Fantastic. Fantastic. It had Edge and Undertaker on SmackDown, Jericho and Michaels with the Honest Man gimmick on Raw. Excellent year. Excellent. I'll fight you on that one. <laughs> Carly was around, wasn't he? Uh, right. Uh, so, SummerSlam 2010, please. Louis. What do you want from me? <laughs> Everyone. <laughs> So I, just to clarify, I know it's Nexus versus Team WWE. Do you want every? Because I think I can. If you think you can, if you're, if yeah, let's let's yes. Because because can I just I, preface I, this to say thank you, Luke and Ollie, because I have just listened to their <laughs> review about three days ago. Basically, Pete's here. Pete's having a great time, and I think I he, could get <laughs> I could get this one. So I think let's yes, <laughs> you, you have to get them all. Okay, so Nexus. Versus yeah. Team WWE. Next side was Justin Gabriel, uh -huh. Michael Tarver, uh -huh. David Otunga, uh -huh. Heath Slater, uh -huh. Darren Young, uh -huh. Wade Barrett, Skip yeah. Sheffield. Very good. Team WWE was Bret Hart, John yeah. Cena, yeah. Daniel Bryan, yeah. Edge, Jericho, yeah. Yeah. Morrison, and Truth. Very good. Very yeah. good. I, I, I recently reviewed that, and I don't think I could have got that team. Yeah. yeah. That that was a, would have me, I think. It was a random old lot, wasn't it? Mm. I forgot proud. Skip Sheffield when I was doing that. I was like, shit. Who proud, is it? Proud of my little nugget. SummerSlam 2011. Please, Luke. Punk Cena. Unless you wanted the Del Rio cash in. But it was Punk Cena as the main event. Saved it at the last moment. Oh, oh come God. on, mate. That's not the actual main event, is it? The main it, event of that show, show Punk versus, Cena. Big Show versus Drew McIntyre. Oh, behave. <laughs> behave yourself. <laughs> Uh, right, SummerSlam 2012, please, Alex. I actually know this one straight off the bat. It's uh, Lesnar Triple H. The Perfect Storm. SummerSlam 2013, Louis. So by Luke's logic, it's Brian Cena, but by normal people, it's <laughs> Brian Orton for the Money in the Bank. Uh, yes. All the money in the bank, the money in the bank cash in. Daniel Bryan versus Randy Orton. The true main event of SummerSlam 2013. SummerSlam 2014, please, Luke. Uh, that would be uh, John Cena, Brock Lesnar. Very good. 15, please, Alex. I believe Lesnar's streak continued. Is this when they would, he was back with Taker? I believe it's Lesnar Taker. It was Lesnar Taker. 2016, please, Louis. This is when there was some shooting. Says Brock again, Brock and Orton. 
Very good. 2017, please, Luke. Uh, that was the four ways. It was uh, Lesnar, Stroman, Roman, and Joe. Very good. 2018. Great match, by the way. I was there for Great that. Great match. Such a good match. That awesome. match rules. Well, my 2018. 2018, please. Why is this? Why is this drawing me a blank? Um, what year of WrestleMania would that have been? Thirty-four. Was it Reigns Lesnar? It was Reigns Lesnar. Very good. Twenty nineteen, please. Nugget. Ten points for you, Alec. Guaranteed, I think. Uh, Brock and Seth. Yep. Uh, 10 points for you, Nugget, and uh, I'm assuming you're going to get this, Luke. Uh, it was Braun Wyatt, or Fiend. Very good. Well, well that nearly cost me there. Well done, boys. That was really good. Yeah, it was very good. Oh, my, man, look, look at how mad my notes are. Like I, had, I, I've got all over the show. Jeez. We went all the way. I'm so proud of each and every one of you. Well <laughs> done, everyone. Well done, Luke. Well done. You know what? Well done, Louis, and well done, Alex. Well done. Well done, all the boys. Well done. All right. <laughs> I'm sorry I don't know my wrestling. You massively helped pre, me, Pete. Pre-2010, I'm bloody clueless, okay? Okay, because that's right. when I started watching it, and I haven't bloody gone back since, all right? You God. massively helped me, because I was I, I had the easiest run. So thank you. <laughs> you <laughs> That yeah. was annoying. All right. No. Okay. Next time. WWE TLC match competitors. So ever. this is not, a, not a yeah. This is ever not a chronological order. Just uh, I've got a list of all the different people who have taken part in a TLC match. You say their name. They are taken off the list. Uh, you have to provide me a different name. If you say a name that has already been said, no second chances. You are oot. Uh, yes, Alex. Um, so if I was to say a member of a tag team, the other tag member remains on the board. That is correct. Yes. I'm not looking for tag teams. I'm looking for individual TLC match competitors. Uh, I am uh, going to go and grab a beer. Um, so while I'm doing that, have yourself a bloody lovely another <laughs> surf shark advert. Has this ever happened to you? You try to watch your favorite show, Quizzlemania 13, but it's blocked in your country because for one of the rounds we used footage, and despite our fans begging us to use footage every single day, this is what happens. Then we found a solution for you. Now you can watch Quizzlemania 13 with Surfshark, a VPN app or browser extension that turns your phone, tablet, computer, or game console into a great big liar. And if you use the code WrestleTalk, you get 83% off and three months for free you could pay twelve dollars a month or with jam that jam you could pay under two dollars a month that's just steiner maths you freaks and geeks then when you're done with quizzlemania 13 you can watch other things that aren't as good like hbo or american netflix if you live outside the us or bbc iplay if you live outside the uk or you could just watch quizzlemania 13 again ah uh, look at all that wwe footage god skirting as close as we can to copyrighted content sure makes us feel alive please don't tell wwe about quizzlemania thanks to surfshark for sponsoring this episode of the show and remember go to surfshark.deals forward slash jam that jam enter promo code wrestletalk for 83 percent off and three months for free hey Ooh, there we go right so um where's luke gone who killed luke mr wrestle talk all right so hopeful here in 95 so thanks everyone for another banger of a quizlemania as tradition what's everyone's favorite match of wrestlemania 19 i'm gonna i'm gonna say i'm gonna say vince hogan you know <laughs> <laughs> it's an absolute fucking banger no i'm kidding it's Shawn michaels versus chris jericho of course it is one absolute belgian match luke what's your favorite match from quiz uh, from wrestlemania 19 um uh, hogan vince that makes sense. Uh, anyone else go in advance? Is it is, uh, Rock Austin the last one? Oh, very good. Yep, they're, mm. they're crack addicts. I'm a crack addict. <laughs> WWE's favorite band. Right, uh, enough time, <laughs> I think. Uh, the scores on the doors as they stand. In last place with 60, it's Q-Tip. In uh, third place with 69, 
Nice, it's Pain Blade. In second place with 75, it's uh, Nugget. In first place with 86, it's Explosion. So you are not safe, Explosion. Do not, not think that you are. Right, uh, so uh, we're going to start with Q-Tip. Q-Tip, give me a TLC competitor, please. Uh, I'd say the uh, the architect, really, of the TLC match, uh, that would be The Miz. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. The one he had with Jerry Lawler was especially scrubbed. <laughs> Fucking give it away then. Oh shit. Well, yeah, fuck. you did on, say one of them, but hey ho. Uh, Alex, could you please guess Jerry? Right. It was all on our list, I'm sure. Oh, oh, mine. Should we just get the king out of the way then? Like, should we just... out of the way. Appreciate that. <laughs> Jerry the King Lawler off the That was like what I was saving in the back pocket as well. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm bad at this. Anyway, um, next up it's Louis. Um, Christian. Christian. How dare you take Christian from me? Come on. I bro. knew you'd love. I knew you'd want him. Yeah. Um, Luke. Bubba Ray Dudley. Very good. Yes, indeed, he is off the list. Um, Pete. So, just as a point of order. In fact, no. We'll come. We'll come to that later. Don't worry. I'll save that one for later. Um. Uh, Edge. Yeah, he's been in the most, and he's won yeah. the most, I think. Uh, Edge is absolutely bang on the banana. Uh, Alex? Uh, RVD. Is the right answer. Um, Louis? Um, Ryback. Ryback, correct. Luke? Sorry, one second, I'm to write down some notes. Uh, oh, um, uh, Devon Dudley. Very good. Uh, Pete. Um, Seth Rollins. Yep, absolutely. Uh, Alex. Uh, Reigns. Roman Reigns is correct. Where are you on the list? I know you're. I know you're in there. I know you're in there. Oh, there you are. Cool. Yes, absolutely. Roman Reigns. Uh, Louis. Kurt Angle. Yes. Ah. Shield dad, Kurt Angle. Should Very never good. have that. Bless him. It completely ruined his return, uh, yep. which will come later. Oh, well. What a weird, what a weird night. Um, Luke. Uh, Matthew Hardy. Yes. There you are, Matt Hardy. Um, I'm showing my era. <laughs> Babe. Um... Jeffrey Hardy. Jeffrey Noah. Damn it, I, damn it Pete. <laughs> I nearly I mean, got the whole set. <laughs> <laughs> Alex. Uh, Randy Orton. Yes. Uh, Louis. Braun Strowman. Yes. Luke. Uh, Chris Benoit. Hey. Ooh. Yes. He, didn't he proper fuck himself up in that SmackDown one? He did. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Is that the one we no, it was the money in the bank one where he fell on Kane, right? And properly did his head in. Yeah, yeah no, I, I, I think <laughs> the one we announced you know, where he does the, the the air Canada dive That's through right. the table. And then oh. they literally, he, he again though, he was carted off like proper fucked, and he came back out. And then he yeah. was off for like nine months. Yeah, wrestling was the worst, wasn't it? Um <laughs> uh, who who guessed Chris Benoit? Me. Yes, so uh Pete. Uh Dean Ambrose. Yes. Oh. Yes. Uh, Alex. Uh, Rick Flair. Very good. He was indeed. Uh, Louis. Baron Corbin. Is correct. I will have also accepted. Sh King... Showing my era. <laughs> <laughs> yes. King Corbin versus um, Braun Strowman. What a bloody match. Oh, wait. No. You are. No, that's, yeah. that's a different match I'm thinking of. Baron no, Corbin. you are. You're thinking of the right match. Is that TLC? TLC 2018? Yeah, TLC 2018. Uh, I'm getting a thumbs up from Tempest. Turns out I knew it when I didn't even know I knew it. Right. Uh, that, that match sounds proper shit. Um, <laughs> it was. Uh, Chris Jericho. Uh, yes. Uh, Pete. Uh, where's my list? Um, CM Punk. Has not been said yet. Very, very good. Alex. Kane. Is correct. Um, Louis. 
Bray Wyatt. Is correct. Luke. Uh, do, 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 who did I have? Um, Asuka. Is correct. Pete. Oh, I forget them. Uh, Daniel Bryan. Is correct. Alex. Becky uh, Lynch. Is correct. Um, Louis. Kyrie Sane. Is correct. Complete the set. Charlotte Flair. Very good. All right, Pete. Uh, let's see who else have I got. Uh, Alberto Del Rio. Yes, indeed. Alex. I don't think he's been set yet. Um, Cena. John Cena. He has not been said. He is on the list. Very good. And Louis. Uh, Sean Michaels. Very good. Would you like to know how many you've got left? Yeah, I've, yeah. I've only really got a few on my list left, so I'm scared. Ten. Probably lots. Ten. 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 Okay. All right. Um, who said John Cena? That was Me. Kane Blake. And then so I said, didn't I say someone afterwards? You did. Yes, you did. Yeah, I, I said Sean Michaels afterwards. You yes. did. Luke, it's on you. Smack it out. Um, I'm just trying to think of anyone who might have had. Um, Booker T. Well, now, isn't this interesting? <laughs> Zero points to our current chip leader. Oh, no, that's not right. Oh, fuck. I, I totally could have gone out. Whoops. Pete, I need you to give me a right answer to get at least two okay. points. Otherwise, you get the same zero points as Luke if you go out on the same part. Tim. So, as an admin question. Mate. Does the does the we LC match count? <laughs> it involves tables, ladders, and chairs. That was in the back pocket. Yeah, me too. El Torito, please. Oh, correct. Uh, and I will a horn swoggle with that. Very good. Yeah, mate. With also Micro Cole, JB Elf, and <sighs> Jerry Smaller, I believe. Is what it is. <laughs> you know what? Good Look. match. Yeah, really, really good match. Yeah. No, un un unironically, really fun. Had yeah. no right to be, and it was no. good. Yeah, El Torito has the highest win percentage of any wrestler in WWE who has wrestled more than ten matches. <laughs> <laughs> Superb, uh, Louis. But I will need a TLC competitor from you, please. Triple H. Correct. Um, Peter. Uh, oh yeah, sorry. It is back round to me. Okay. Um, Seamus. Oh, yes. we said him. We no, Seamus is not. No, we said. didn't. No, we didn't. I had him on my list still. Okay. He, uh, he has not been said. I would have taken him off my list. Apologies then. Yeah, it's fine. Um, Alex. AJ Styles. Correct. Oh, I didn't have him down. Cesaro. Correct. Oh. Are you? Cock, that was all right, answer. Pete. There's four left. I've only got two I left. believe that is currently everyone off my list. That's unfortunate. Um, okay, <clears throat> that was what was the TLC match from that year then? Because that was the <laughs> Four competitors left. Four, did you say? Four. Yeah. This is frustrating. Because I can think of several people that I'm like, yep, that's a TLC. And I'm like, wait, no, that was a ladder match. Mm. <laughs> I think I've got them. God damn it. Um I 
I can't think of. All right, I'm, I'm just going to go for a punt. All right, um, Dolph Ziggler. All right, so that's two points to Pete. I'm terrified that this has been said. Um, but Undertaker? Correct. Yeah. Louis. Fuck me. Okay. <laughs> Big show. Oh, come on. Correct. DX versus Jerry Show was a TLC match. I've there only got one left. left. But I only need to have one left, don't I, in a weird way? Uh, well, not if Louis gets it wrong, then you'll need it to get the uh, full rather than the same points as Louis. So you, currently you're both on six. Well done. Um, but yes, uh, Alex, I need one from you to stay in the game. I, again, I, I'm not sure if it's been said or not, and I might even be wrong here, but Rey Mysterio. Correct. Oh, have we not? No, I thought we said him. All right. So um, if, if Louis gets this right... That's 10 points to the both of you. There's on, one Lou. person left who has not been said. So my mind is going to two people. Well, I just Spike one Dudley and Rhino. I know one was in a variation of a ladder match. One was in a variation of a TLC. I want to be able to help you here because you've just triggered my memory, but I can't. Me and you spoke about this on the show. You're right. Your instincts are right. I'll tell you that much. Going to need an answer from you, friend. I'm going to go for Spike. It's is the correct answer. Spike. Teamed with Bubba Ray Dudley. Oh, hello. Yes. Tempest. If you want, if you want to get real granular and get one extra little bit out of this round, there's an extra person who was scheduled for a TLC match, but was taken out backstage and their partner had to go in solo. Just putting it out there in case anyone wants to say who that is. Oh, um, it, uh, the hurricane. No? Oh. Yeah, it is. Hey, I know, because I mean, Kane went alone. Wow. wow. I, I had hurricane down. I was really annoyed because I had Spike down as well, but I really second guessed myself. What's Spike? That. I'm, uh, I'm fuming. Can they tell for us? For some, some reason, I crossed out Undertaker on my list, and I don't know why. <laughs> I crossed out <laughs> really Ray. annoyed. Was, um, oh, man. The, the uh, Spike Dudley one was that Raw Roulette? I want to no, say that, that was yes, that was TLC. Yeah, he teamed three. with Bubby, yeah. It wasn't Dino. I told you in that, did in that Rhino, period, in that did period, Rhino have a ladder match. Rhino interfered in TLC two. In TLC, yeah. yeah. Uh, and, him, him, Lita, and Spike all TLC yeah. uh, appeared in TLC, two. and that's why I second guessed myself on Spike because I wasn't mm. sure if I was thinking mm. of that he was in a match or whether he was just interfered at WrestleMania X seven. The best TLC, by the way. So, oh, amazing! Absolutely. <laughs> Right. Would you like to know the scores? Only two points for that. God damn it. In last place with 62. <laughs> Hello. It's Q-Tip. Obviously. In third place with 79, it's Alex. I'm very grateful to Q-Tip for keeping his word and not letting me be loved. <laughs> very... You're so uh, welcome. <laughs> so third place, 79. Second place, Louis with 85. First place, Luke with 86. Oh, oh my God. God. Ah, Why? Amazing. Luke, you know you're in charge for the week. <laughs> yes, mate. <laughs> and you know it's payday on Friday. Yes, mate. Do you want to win? <laughs> <laughs> mate, I'm not going to like... It's, it doesn't matter that much. Just <laughs> <laughs> <Nice> to me. <laughs> yeah, nice to actual money. Oh, nice to know where we stand. By the way, this is the longest the quiz segment has ever gone on quiz yeah. mania because you all know yeah. too fucking much. Right though, the final uh, round of Quizzle Mania is 2018 pay per view main events chronological order. Um, if you if you guys get it all right, I'm just going to keep going until someone gets uh, wrong. Uh, these are pay-per-views, not network exclusives. Okay. Mm. And before so, you ask, Saudi Arabia were pay-per-views. I... They, were, they were sold on pay-per-view, the Saudi shows. So um, 2018 pay-per-view main events, chronological order starting with the first one, which I think you might be able guess and moving on until the end of the year and 
then yeah, I'm just gonna because it because it's literally so close. I'm gonna keep going until someone drops. If you get it right up until 2020, then bloody hell, you deserve the 10 points. All right. So yes, pay per views, not network exclusives. Um, so basically, not takeover, and not like weird stuff like mm -hmm. the random King of the Ring they do on the network. Do you remember yeah. Smackville? Smackville, Smackville Baggins. Oh, yeah. uh, that was awful. All of the Starcade bullshits that they've done. Yeah. Uh, the the Jam One Ryan B Jam says so. I'm guessing we won't be seeing Matt Cardona, Lance Storm, or Ryback on Quiz Mania anytime soon. Hashtag Corporate Q Tip. Hashtag Yes, please. Uh, Tyro, hey, how, have we have we pissed off Lance Storm and Ryback? I mean, I know yeah. Ryback's perennially... Ry Ryback was so, historical. Yes. So Lance Storm, yeah, yeah we pissed them off. Okay, fair enough. Uh, Tyrone Kid says Louis is not a nugget. He's a black heart, damn it. A winner. A soul survivor. <laughs> Woo. Hashtag JTJ. I Declan, did it on my own. Declan Malloy says, loving the show. Can't think of a wrestling question. So, Louis, who do I make my captain in my fantasy team? I'm thinking Salah, but after last week, I don't know. Uh, yeah, Mohamed Salah. He 100% plays for the best team. Alex is a football fan as well. On you, Alex. Who would you captain? Uh, well, don't ask me because I support Newcastle. Um, someone who scored goals, mate, which I don't know. <laughs> Joel Linton. There you go. Bag to goals. There you go. Come on, you tune boys. Uh, Declan, yes. loving the show. Can't, oh, I've done that one. Mr. CJ Lilly says, anyone here see Uncool with Alexa Bliss, her new podcast? What people thought, if you have. I thought it was nice and fresh. Put a smile on my face. I haven't seen it yet. Uh, is it, is yeah, it a, a video podcast? It was on YouTube, yeah. They premiered it. I listened to it just to check if there was anything sort of like newsworthy. It's pretty good. It's less... feel, And after the bell isn't that produced, or mm, it is, but... Uncle feels less produced. It just feels more like similar to the New Day's um, podcast, which is just a great insight into New Day. Um, oh, so, yeah, I'd, I'd recommend watching it. Oh, delightful. Right, we're going to kick off Chaps because we're coming up to midnight and we still got all these Super Chaps. Oh, really? Shit. Yeah, it's going to be a late one. Get your, slum get your slumber party gear ready. Um, <laughs> you guys just won't stop quizzing. All right, here we go. Starting with Pete, um, what is the first main event? In, in order to kind of really thin the herd as well, I'm not going to tell you what the pay-per-views are. So you got oh, you wow. to you gotta get it. All right, Pete. Uh, this was the Women's Royal Rumble match. That a boy. Yes, it was. All right, uh, Alex. I think I've been fucked again. Because <laughs> 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 it's Elimination Chamber. Um, yeah. And yeah, I know. I know that obviously. Uh, Look, uh, tell you what, I'll I'll accept men's chamber match. I know. I, I know. Reigns wins it. But <laughs> is that enough? That tell you what, that's enough. Thank you. Thank it's you. all right because there's there, there's a bloody load of these. Um, so I feel like I'll be generous because otherwise, yeah, we'll be here a while. Um, Louis, what? Um, am I going to be dealt the same? Yes. This one. So I'll tell you all of them. AJ Styles, John Cena, Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, Dolph Ziggler, and Baron Corbin in a six-pack challenge for the WWE Championship at Fastlane, which was a fucking corker of a match. <laughs> Fuck you. I refuse. I refuse. <laughs> you know, and refuse. All right, uh, Luke, you've uh, it's lined up pretty well for you here. Uh, Lesnar Reigns. Yeah, what a main event. Fucking loved it. Um, Pete. trying to think of what was next after that because then that would have been that one probably what would have been the main for that well did we just have, was that just mania we just had sorry yeah mm -hmm. that's right. reigns mania 34 what would have been the main event of this <laughs> that wasn't that because that was the year after uh that would have been that. I don't think that was the main. Um, hey, <laughs> <laughs> shut up. Uh, was it the greatest Royal Rumble match? My boy, very good, Alex. Come on. Uh, I'm just. I don't know. I'm just going on. 
what typically comes after Mania. I know that you've said the Saudi show there, so Backlash. And I do recall um, Reigns, Samoa Joe. Very good. What a terrible main event. Oh, it's awful. Yeah. God, it was bad. Um, uh, very good. Louis. This is Money in the Bank, which I believe men's, which I believe was eight people. Was. Roman. Right. And he had that thing with Robert Roode at the time, who Bobby Roode at the time. So we'll go for Bobby Roode. Strowman. Balor was in there. A member so, of New Day, because someone got removed, and then a member of New Day came in. Everyone wanted to be it to be Big E, but I think it was Kofi. Samoa Joe, who I thought should have won it. Kevin Owens, Miz. Oh shit. <laughs> oh, Rutev. And what was the oh yeah, and you said him. Yep. I mean, very good. <laughs> I'm very impressed with you. Uh, right, next up is Luke. Uh, so that was the Money in the Bank. Uh, Ziggler Rollins. Very good. Oh, the Iron Man. Uh, the yeah, Iron, the Iron Man. Man. Fans yeah. ruined. No, no one else to blame for that. That's the fans' fault. Yep. Yeah. Um, right, it is Pete's time. Pete's time to shine. Don't know about the whole shining thing. Uh... Because where we're at now, I mean, I can just say my thought process, I guess. Because um, that, I assume, would have been June. Wait, because if we had Greatest Royal Rumble, Money in the Bank, Backlash. So I think we're in July at this point. I don't think we're at SummerSlam yet. So there's something between Roman and Joe. And SummerSlam, I reckon. God knows what it is, though. Um, probably stomping grounds or something. Uh, <laughs> great Balls of Fire was the previous year, so it's not that. What a great show. It was yeah, a brilliant was show. show. That was the first show I ever that. reviewed for WrestleTalk. Really? Uh, yeah, like I did it as a green screen review. Oh. No, you know what? No, slaughtered in the comments. Screw it. I'm just gonna go because I can't think of what else it would be. I'm just gonna go with SummerSlam and hope it's right. It's Reigns Lesnar at SummerSlam. Yeah, Q tip. Nice oh one. my god, is it really fucking hell? I thought oh, there was a poke you between them. Yeah, I was gonna say I was a bit worried for you there, Pete. <laughs> <laughs> Alex. God damn. I just oh, assumed no. there was like 17 more pay per views in the rest of the year because <laughs> you know it's WWE in it. So that puts us in September. Um, now I'm like out of sea. Now I have no clue for the rest of the year. Yeah, I, yeah, I, bit of brick wall. I swear, Helen and Sarah was sometimes October. Oh. I'm, I'm probably just going to do what you just done. I might, I'm just going to go with Helen and Sarah because that's the only one I really know. And I was this around the time where Reigns and Strowman and they weren't done with each other. I'm saying it's Reigns yeah. Strowman that held in the cell. Very good. Very oh good. no, it was in the bank cashing, wasn't it? Yeah, That's what it, was. it was a. It was the shittest use of Braun Strowman yeah. ever. And ever. Mick Foley was there. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great knowledge. And uh, um, it, yeah, it was the it was the first of WWE's Hell in the Cell matches to end in a no contest. Oh wow! <laughs> Gotta yeah. love Adam. It. Not yep. the last. No, no, um, no. I'm not sure if this one counts. You noted Saudi shows counted. This does count. Okay, so <laughs> Undertaker and Triple H in Australia. Very good. Super Showdown was a pay per view. Uh, Luke. Good. I'm glad I didn't have that one because I, yep. I didn't write that one down. Um, which means I think then actually it was the Saudi show after that, which was DX Brothers of Destruction. Hmm. All right. Oh. Pete. So we're after Super Showdown. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> the winds of change. <laughs> oh, blowing. <laughs> 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 uh, 
There's not a new champion yet. Comment section. Yeah. Luke's one point ahead. Technically. Uh, I'm going to have a wild guess, which I'm probably wrong because this timeline doesn't match up, but I'm going to say men's Survivor Series match. All right. Alex. Oh, that sucks. Um, so, so we've gone from Super Showdown, right? That's the last one. So it's zero points for you too, Pete, just so you know. And if anyone else gets this wrong... It's also zero points. So if none of you get it right, oh, Luke, man. none of you get it right, Luke retains. Oh, um. oh, fuck. oh God. Is it? Um... No, it won't be. I was about to say evolution, but it won't be because... Because that came after the Saudi show. I'm not nodding at you. I'm nodding at the the comment. Andy saying I'd be insufferable. I will be. I thought you was giving me a hand. Um, <laughs> <sighs> you fucker. Uh, so. Super, when was Super Showdown? It was October, wasn't it? Something like that. I can reveal it was October 6th. Okay. <sighs> oh, you fuck. Was Evolution... <laughs> 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 it's bugging me. I can't remember if Evolution was before or after the Saudi show. I can't remember I remember it being, I swear it was on like a weird day, but maybe my mind's just playing tricks on me. Um, fuck it. Um, Evolution, which would be Rousey and, and uh, Nikki Bella. Correct. Yeah! <laughs> oh. Thank you, Alex, because this oh, is now Saudi man. DX uh, Brothers of Destruction. Correct. Um, oh, shit, this is more problems um this takes us to survivor series i think and i feel like that was lesnar fucking people over but i can't remember who was it uh was it when styles had just taken the title off jindam hall so lesnar styles survivor series six points to alex you need to get this right in order to get the full 10 louis <sighs> It's been fun, this. It's Brock Lesnar. Versus? AJ Styles. Oh, fuck you. You got it wrong. On the one that you're the new champion in, you got it fucking wrong. It's fucking Brian. Daniel Bryan versus Brock Lesnar. It's Adam's yes. favourite match, you did. Even yeah. I knew that. Oh, yes, on, man. Wasn't, hang on, hang on, wasn't on, Evolution a network boy? Hang on. I knew I was think... all them. Fuck. Aren't I the only put? I won, right? You did, yeah. Oh, wasn't was evolution cool. wasn't evolution a network special? No. Was that an actual pay per view? It was a pay per view. Oh fuck! Okay, fair enough. Yeah, full I thought I skipped it over. In in last place, uh, representing the All Authority <laughs> in, <laughs> in true style with sixty two points, it's Pete Q Tip Quinnell. I think I did all right. It's just <laughs> been a tough week for this Pete. one. I think that's your best performance to date. Mate. <laughs> that sounds in... really like, I, I meant like you're real compliment. talking down to me. <laughs> in third place with 85 points, it's Pain Blade Alex McCarthy. Can, can someone tell me, is, is, is that a respectable score for third? Yes, yes. that's a very respectable yeah. score. All right. you know, I, can, I can at least come out of here with my head held high. <laughs> In second place with 86, 
It's Luke Owen. And a shocking final round there. Shocking, shocking final round. Shock in. And new Quizzle Mania champion. It's Nugget. <laughs> <laughs> he did it on his own. He's a twenty. He's a twenty share box. He's no longer a six pack. Congratulations, <laughs> Nugget. Thank you. Tem- Tempest, <laughs> so sad. You all have no idea what you've just done. <laughs> you don't have to work with this smug new champion every day of the week. This is going to be. A nightmare in the writer's chat. On another note, Louie, thank you for taking my shift this week. I really appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Enjoy your day off. Well done, Nugget. Hey, All let's right. remember well done. that I was in the lead for one question in this quick <laughs> well video. Done, hey. Came out well the game. Done. I basically hey. won. So, yep. you know. I've never seen someone fall apart. At the finish line. Oh, mate, honestly, God, I, I proper fucked that, didn't I? Absolutely <laughs> fucked it. Did. Uh, congratulations to our new champion. Uh, thank you to everyone who has taken part in the stream. We are going to rocket through some super chats, if that's all right, because it's already past my bedtime. Does anyone need to go? Because it honestly is fine. It's I mean, champagne waiting for me. I'd, I'd like to, but I assume that, you know, I should probably stick about some super chats because yeah. we've got news in the morning i was gonna say i'll stick around for a little bit but then i may have to go because i've got to watch AEW in the morning it's fine i'm, I'm here oh yeah to... we've got we've got news and AEW. oh god yes, we have right here yeah oh, it, here yeah, till the end right. here we go the jam one ryan b jam says uh r.i.p animal his death hits just as hard for me as pipers did lod and piper were some of my all-time favorite wrestlers rest in peace animal absolutely uh brian dawson's i'm fact checking tempest william regal got ribbed with the real man's man theme in the main event of an episode of superstars against daniel bryan that's right uh, by the way myself i i just want you you did you did get there first i just want to say thanks so much obviously to alex mccarthy for joining us please do follow alex on the twitter at alex m underscore talk sport the pain the most painful of blades a very respectable uh, 85 points. Um, Kevin says, it was kind of heartwarming to see you guys reunite for a pint. Tell you what, bloody loved that one single. Oh, mate. Yeah. It was so lovely, wasn't it? It was. It, you, it, you, it, me, it, Laurie, just hanging yeah. out. Like, like there wasn't even a thing that's killing everybody. It was great. Exactly. We were chatting about accents on Buffy, and it were bloody lovely. <laughs> it were bloody lovely. I wasn't invited. Bye. Spike. I saw Andy yesterday, and it was actually very Spike. fun. You seem like you're full of stars, Spike. I'm Not so we went to the pub and we've Spike, got some little jokes. <laughs> do you want me to get you a bit of food there, Spike? Spike. Um, <laughs> I'm a vampire, so I am. My name's, <laughs> name's Angel, and I'm a vampire. <laughs> That's so much better an accent than Angel could do. Uh, Jacob's department just gave us five quid. Thank you. Uh, BJ Baker, I assume Brit, uh, says, glad you all finally covered my number one company, No J- uh, New Japan, No Japan Pro Wrestling. New Japan Pro Wrestling. I have uh, multiple sclerosis. I'm very thankful for all the content you provide. It makes bad days better. That's a wonderful thing. Thank you very much, BJ. Um, Miguel Ortiz says, they say Saturdays are for the boys, but Wednesdays are for the best lads. You lot. Love you, Wrestle Talk. Thanks for making my day off bit better you are welcome mr cj lily says to continue my love for the bliss podcast it's nice to see something that's just designed to make us happy and laugh and alexa yeah. bliss well done quite right has someone got a fan going in there in their microphone i can hear it i can hear a thing i think no. it's tempest because it hasn't know. happened on the whole stream and now tempest is here i've got tempest I yeah, i've just i've just muted tempest it's tempest it is Tempest. I don't know what to tell you, Tempest. I really don't. Uh, I'm just going to mute you until you got something to say. Just wave your flag when you've got something to say. Um, Ryan says, hey, Luke, I dug out my Mega Drive emulator console. Do you have any game recommendations? Also, Mon the Veggies. Absolutely. Uh, some recommendations for you. I'm just looking at the, my stack of games I've got to keep up my laptop. Megalomania, if you're after a bit of point and click uh, god game action. Sonic 2, uh, absolutely. 
Um, Alien 3 is a really, really fun game. And I'm always going to go to bat for Castle Illusion, Starring Mickey Mouse, and Quackshot versus Donald Duck. Rocket Knight Adventures is a fucking banging game as well. Um, yeah, absolutely. Get in touch with me on Twitter. I can give you a whole list of them. Touchstone TV says, just on my mom's credit card to say hello. <laughs> oh, 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 you've put us in quite a conjury there, Touchstone <sighs> TV. Oh, thanks for your money. Tell your mum thanks. Uh, Charles Berg says, here's some more retribution names. Fish Stick, Sledge, Clubber, Tornado, Minx, Jinx, and Larynx. And T for Steve. And of course, Bulk. Uh, sorry. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, Tempest. I was going to say... I was going to say, uh, our sponsor, Surfshark, sounds like a retribution name, kind of. <laughs> Very good. I like that a lot. Uh, Jared Zimmerman says, I am Jared Zimmerman. So glad you all enjoyed my escorts on a street corner joke. If you laughed at it, then I'm officially your daddy. Hashtag jam that jam. I mean, thank you for spending some more money to tell us that, Jared. Appreciate every penny. Uh, jam one, Ryan B. Jam says, have any of you played the five-star wrestling Genesis WWE RIP rip of game featuring stars like Andy Organ, Mike Iceberg, Greg Harty, and Harvey D? Yes, I fucking have. I played it for what culture? It is an absolute turd. I hate it. Broken. It's Better than 2K20? 2K20 is years better than that piece of shit. It's like yeah, genuinely, it's, it's a way more broken. It's uh, awful. Uh, Mississippi, like genuinely, like it's below like the first SmackDown in terms of playability. Mr. CJ Lily says Mike Rome also almost called Slapjack Slapball on air. He said he only got the name seconds before he said them and surprised the others weren't on comms. Uh, Total Destruction says Roses are red, Violets are blue, everything is red as Retribution is burning down WWE. Good to see Luke <laughs> back in Wrestle Talk. Mundy says my birthday is Friday and all I want is the air horn. I think <laughs> I can sort you out there. My old buddy. Oh, you've taken away the backdrop here, oh, mate. Oh, no, I've changed the thing. <laughs> so, Alex, I have something to tell you. That's also the you wrong know, one. You know buddy. you said Joel Linton doesn't score. What is happening? There we go. That's the end, mate. Adam, <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> Look at the stream. I hate this. I've broken everything. Look at the stream. What's Lu happening? Louis gone. I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> How do shit. I get rid of this? How do I get rid of the thing? How do I get rid of it? There we go. Oh go. my god, I hated that. Also, that's not gone. That's now gone blue instead of red. Yeah, that's yeah. also a different background. There. Why are you clicking on the Cinemania one? That's the Cinemania Yeah, background. that's the Cinemania one. I don't know what I'm doing. Help me. <laughs> All right. Ollie quiz. Change it there. And then Quizomania. There, there we, we go. go. There we go. There we go. <sighs> Lord. Lord. Oh, my goodness me. Hashtag WRWR pod says seeing Q Tips channel is getting shout out. Luke, do you know any good games master episode by episode retrospective podcasts? I hear they're about to do what about to do a funhouse episode for their patrons. Cliff, you beautiful bastard. Uh, he actually sent me a photograph as well when I said the GameCubes are great because they come with handles. He sent a picture of him holding one and said, Yes, it does have a handle. Um <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, under consultation, the Games Master Retrospective Podcast. Okay, you can find it in all good podcast feeds. It's actually available now on Amazon Music. Oh, fair. Yeah. Good. Uh, I didn't even know that was a thing. Can I, I know, it just, just launched a podcast um, stream, Russell Talk podcast on there as well. Yes, Louis, go on. Po you know, I interviewed like, Matt Seidel recently. That's gone on, just, just gone on to Wrestle 2 today. Um, watch that. He talks about. Uh, his AEW debut, the scary botch. He says a firework went off as soon as he was about to jump. So shat himself <laughs> and then fell on his neck. Um, he talks about the Ring of Honor Pure Tournament turning down a recent WWE return. So check that out. And just subscribe to the Wrestle2 channel because you get minimum of one uh, full-length interview per week. We've had Santana and Ortiz on there, uh, Jonathan Gresham. So, yeah, just head on over there. Check everything out. It's a lot of fun. And I have an exclusive coming tomorrow in uh, in Luke's news. So check out the WrestleTalk News to have a look at that. 
Marvellous. Alexander Jose Ov Casella says, I mean, can you can you believe it? Happy dear dear de las muertos, Pete. Uh laugh track. Uh oh, happy birthday, by the way, Pete. Uh laugh track, really, oh, Louis? FIFA, really? Could you possibly <laughs> be any more basic? Play a real <laughs> game for God's sake. FIFA's a good game. Stu it's, says, it's the same game. It's been the same game since 1995. <laughs> Only now you've got to pay more for it, and you've got to pay to like, kick the ball and other bullshit like that. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> he says, The Sound of Silence by Disturbed is a bagging tune. I'm with oh, you. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> uh, Nitz N says, Hi, Adam. Going on a week-long holiday in a month with my wife and friends. Can you recommend a fun board game which we can play for hours Adam, I want to go to sleep at some point tonight. Please keep this answer short. <laughs> By the way, can't wait for your new channel. Right, I'm going to say one one thing, um, one thing only, because you said wife and friends. I'm going to assume there's quite a lot of you. So I think the best board game for a large group of people that you can play over and over and over again is Mysterium. I think it's fucking so good. Brilliant. Um, it's yeah, it's it's just great. Um, it plays up to seven people. Uh, tons of replayability. It's all about connecting with your fellow gamers. It's uh, fantastic. Plus, the cards are gorgeous. Yeah, um, uh, Mr. M Mr. CJ Lily says, I agree with Alexa. A lot of bodies lay down for Rhonda's success, and she needs to apologize for the F word before she returns. It was a team effort. Uh, Eric Osborne says, great to have you back. Luke, today's my birthday. Can Adam and Luke wish me, just, just Adam and Luke, can Adam and Luke wish me a happy birthday? It would make me happy. Hashtag Luco and hashtag JTJ. Happy birthday, Eric Osborne. Happy birthday, Eric Osborne. Yes, please. Yes, please. Uh, Zinn says, I feel personally insulted that Tyson Kidd wasn't even mentioned as career-ending injuries. He had so much promise in his future. Absolutely, but career-ending uh, injuries didn't count. Hi, Michelle. Bye, Michelle. Hi, Michelle. Thank you for the sharpies, Michelle. Away. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Matthew Robinson said, Adam, love your fantasy booking of WWE after Vince. Really wanted to go that way whenever it happens. What does the rest of the group think of it? Praise me, praise like my booking. <laughs> Only thing, I haven't seen it yet. All right, so, Luke, I think it's it really good. Two days ago, it, it was it. very good. There was just a lot of tournaments. I don't know if you can fit that many people in. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. Uh, some, yeah, some you can. Double duty, but yeah, you can. Have Fair you enough. seen the size of I WWE's mean, roster? They can make it work. I am not personally a huge fan of the idea of like the hard reset, strip everyone of the titles thing. I did think it was kind of WCW, but you mentioned that, so I'll, I'll, I'll give you that. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> I lampshaded it, so you can't mock me for it. Uh, it's just like, yeah, it's 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 after Vince. I just felt like you have to do something huge. Um, Sidesh, uh, Sidesh Mirjanka says, let's take a break from Quizomania for five minutes in order to mock WWE for managing to botch retribution on so many different levels. Um, I look, yes, a retribution booking video will come at some point, I'm sure, in my future at some point. Uh, uh, Funks Tinks, or yeah, P-H-X-T-X-N says, big shout out to Parts Fun Known for making moving back to uni in Middlesbrough as bearable as possible. It was a pleasure meeting Adam four years ago and the numerous Primus chats with Luke on Twitter. Oh, mate. Absolutely Primus. Primus suck. <laughs> Matthew, I mean, that means they're good. I see. Matthew Robinson says, Chopper, you should have stuck to your theory about Luke. You know lie detectors are never conclusive. Luke, can I get a yes, please? Yes, please. Still can't I believe. Should've. Can't believe you thought Mr. Wrestle Talk wasn't Luke. That's insane. fell for it. Hook, I line, and sphincter. You I bloody didn't. moron. Zin I said about my previous super chats. I have a very smooth brain. I apologize for my idiocy. Love you all. Also, Adam, what is the board game channel you were starting? Love to work on that in some way. The board game channel is Phenomenerds. Uh, you can find that just by searching Phenomenerds. Uh, Phenoma hyphen nerds um uh, or you can just go to my twitter that's it's it's there a link to it uh please do it's launching uh first week of october we are so excited we got together for the first time literally in six months and we played monopoly oh no oh, uh, no. oh no richard jennings says what is everyone's favorite wrestlemania opener and also whoever suggested nerd cubed that is a great shout hashtag jtj best wrestlemania opening Matt. Brett and Owen. Mm, there you go. I don't. Brett and Owen. Yeah. No, you're right. 
Yeah. Triple was underrated. A good one, though. Yeah, that's one. Triple H was actually a lot better than it should have been at WrestleMania 30. That was really good. Not, not Bret Hart. Also, also you, could, you got to look at them as a whole package. So if you look at them as a whole package, the main event, would that be as good without the opening match? Maybe not for Mania 30. So I'd say Brian Triple H. Also, Miz, Seth, and Finn at Mania 34 was pretty good. It was awesome. Was very good match on a very bad show. Not very bad, not a great show. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, it wasn't very. It wasn't great. The main event. Yeah. The first yeah. half of that, I was there. The first half was, was great to Ronda. Yeah. Pretty much went from there. <laughs> I, I really enjoyed uh, Seth Lesnar. Just open the yeah, show. Why I, not? I was going to say that. Just kick it straight off with that. Yep. Really, really fun. Yeah. Uh, right. Andy Limber Andrew Limberg says, Pete, do you play Pokemon Go? Can we be friends on there? I need to evolve my Slapjack into an Ice Spike or Gorlax. Um, I don't anymore, Soz. <laughs> Fair Clinical. enough. Uh, Donovan Dijic Can't Eat Pie says, on the bright side, at least we know which round is not making to the next Quizomania round. Uh, that was sent during the Artist Collective. I assume they're talking about Name That Jam, just because Artist Defective is definitely coming back. Uh, Jason Cantu says, is anyone else terrified to hear the other Retribution members' names? What are they going to call Mercedes Martinez? What are they going to call her? I don't know. Trunk. They'll call her Piss and the other one Vinegar. <laughs> Jesus. Perfect. Um, Joey Suber says, My question is for Luke. Just wondering if you watch the boys on Amazon video, and if so, what are your thoughts? I've uh, I very much enjoyed the first season. I've not actually read the books because I've heard the books are a bit hit and miss. They are. Um, yeah, that, that's near. But I, I thought the, the TV show was pretty good. Uh, I quite enjoyed the first season. I've watched like pretty much most of the second season because they were releasing it week by week. And I'm also pretty much enjoying that as well. It's good stuff. It finally killed me on Garth Ennis, did the boys. Oh, man, um, yeah. He, he's, he's always been a troublesome as, as gold, as old Garth. It was that and the spin-off Hero Gasm, which is literally mm -hmm. just, it's porn. And, it's porn. Yeah, it's like, all right. Uh, William Tallman says, we need a playlist of that round. <laughs> Hashtag FTF, yes, please. I assume name that, ja uh, name that jam. Zach Robinson says, great to see Luke Warm, Luke Owen back on Quizomania. Have a yes, please, good sir. Uh, question for Q-Tip. Why not call it the... Oh Orth Oliti rather than the Oli Authority. I think that just explained exactly why we don't you see how much trouble Adam had trying to say it. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. I, I did I, I struggle. Yeah. Uh, hashtag jam that jam, hashtag FTF. James Fier says, Hi all, loving the show. Any chance of seeing James from Dead Meat on the show? He's a huge wrestling fan and interviewed loads of WWE stars. Also, any League of Gentlemen Psychoville inside number nine fans? Right here. Yes, right here. Ernie Clifton's fucking dressing room is one of my favorite half hours of TV comedy ever made. Absolutely. League of Gentlemen. Stunner. I think League of Gentlemen is the second best thing. Oh, actually, maybe the third best thing that uh, the BBC has ever done behind uh, Alan Partridge and Red Dwarf. It's oh. absolutely fucking brilliant. Love the League of Gentlemen. Pens. Pens. Um, so, uh, you know, Alice Clark. You know, you know AEW, an episode of Dynamax Night, or like a late night one? You're right, Nugget. Your interview. You're, you're, yeah, your, your internet's you're being very fun right now. Champion. You're the new champion. Can you, can you hear me? Can you hear me? There we go. And now. Now you're back. Conduct yourself with some dignity. So AEW got nearly 600,000 viewers for their late night episode of Dynamite last night. Cool. Good. That's crazy. Cool. That's good. For, great Sorry. for them. Yeah, great for them. Good, good for them. Very great. happy. You look like Gangrel, Nugget. <laughs> you do look like Gangrel. Don't cheer him. He's a vampire. <laughs> from Kurt Angle. <laughs> Gorilla Press says, Hello, Adam. My name is B. Is. I am part of an organization called Mania Club. We are the group responsible for the recent Roman Reigns news that was leaked. Ah. Uh, Gorilla Press again says, Hello. I will have you know for a fact that Roman and two WWE staff members were also in that call alongside him. It was not a one on one meet and greet. There are several incorrect things the member leaked. Uh, and again, Gorilla Press has snapped as not Snapchatted, but ch uh, super chatted, saying, We would like to clarify that we have spoken to the WWE and there are no issues. It is a shame that some privileged fans can decide to go into business for themselves and give up information to dirt sheets. 
I'm not sure what that's about, but fair enough. Uh, K2KYD says, hey, Adam, if you are afraid of the reverse songs being too easy, you should make it a buzz around. Also, can someone make a retribution name generator? I believe we have. Has that gone out yet? No, that's going out tomorrow. Yes. Check our Instagram, which is wrestletalk.official uh, on Instagram. And also our Twitter and our Facebook. Ah, uh, tomorrow. Good work, all, Pete. All of that. Nice work, Pete. Good work, Pete. Um, Gorilla Press again. Hello, Gorilla Press. Adam, I propose a challenge for the tag team titles on behalf of Connor's Cure. This match shall main event Quizomania XX, should you agree, 20. Uh, I have promised to reveal a tag team partner. Gorilla Press again saying, this is not a reveal. However, in fact, I would like to extend an invitation to one Sean Ross Sapp Fightful. Should you both agree, Mania Club is the only official WWE sanctioned tailgate party raising over 20K last year. Gorilla Press again saying, this can potentially bring hundreds more viewers and donors to WrestleMania 20 and its respective causes. Gorilla Press again says, uh, should both yourself and Sean Rossap accept my proposal, we stand to potentially raise the ceiling on viewers and donors. Hashtag Connor's Cure. Uh, Ryan says, how about rather than drawing rounds, you do team charades instead? <laughs> Maybe. Um, Renee Wrangle says, poor Shane Thorne, the definition of slapjack is the act of ejaculating in one's hand then slapping another person in the face with it. I thought Dio Madden was slapjack. No, oh, he's yeah. mace. Oh, he's yeah. mace. Yeah, uh, Shane, Thorne Shane Thorne is slapjack, yeah. Oh, Shane. That's tiny one. No, Dominic Dijakovic is T-Bar. T-Bar. T -t yeah. Not T-Bar. 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 They're not these. Not they don't raise the bar. They are. They are T bar. T -bar. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Tyro Kid says, "Honest question, Adam. Your how I book this are great and thought out. My favorite is the factual Royal Rumble. Ever thought about booking being a writer? Uh, well, I, I have thought about being a writer. I have a book of short stories coming out within the month. I can reveal uh, that is. I, I will let people know about that later on down the line. Have I ever thought about booking? No, done that." Uh, did that for WCPW, bit of a bad time. And uh, have I ever thought about booking for WWE? Absolutely not. They seem like a horrible company to work for. Uh, Rob Bowell says, please get King Ricky Rosé from the King of the Rings podcast on Quizomania. He's amazing body doubles as Keith Lee. Uh, Seth Amphetamines says, you guys impressed me a lot in the show, but being able to remember matches like Jinder versus Shinsuke is impressive enough to me. I've been watching for about 15 years. I don't have that retention. Lord Jackson says, hello all, enjoy the show. Sorry if this has already been answered, but why is Quizomania X not available to uh, watch? Uh, in the aftermath of speaking out, we made it private. Uh, Lord Jackson says, chat told me why. Sorry if it killed the mood. Rapidly moving on. If a WWE versus AEW storyline were to ever occur, what would your be your dream matches? I think we've covered this a little bit, but we do have new guests. So I'll throw over to them. My personal favorite is Cody versus Triple H, just because, you know, shots fired. But does anyone else have any AEW versus WWE matches they really want to see? Alex, how about you? You, you just kind of stole it from me. Um, I, I do think that Cody Triple H thing would be great. And I was at the um, the first Double or Nothing, you know, AEW's first show, mm. and the press thing after, and Cody kind of trying to deny that it was a nod to Triple H. But what really? Come but, on. Yeah. <laughs> quite obviously, kind of admitting that it was too without saying it. So I think um, I've always thought Cody could be a bigger player than he was ever used in WWE anyway. And now that his stock is so different. Who knows? It's all there, isn't it? Yeah. Anyone else got um, Louis? Uh, Kenny or... Daniel, Br Ke Kenny Daniel Bryan, please. I mean, I'd pay. Well, for yeah. Aesthetic. Yeah. Sure. yeah, I'd like that. That'd be, but in an AW ring, so it's AW wrestling, not WWE wrestling. I'd, I'd take it in WWE, to be honest. I think they'd still burn the house down. Daniel Bryan's got yeah. that kind of sway. Uh, Gorilla Press says, hashtag support each other. Leonza Duncan says, can you do a list of top 10 WWE thrown together tag teams? Also, Mia Yim look kind of cool, but Retribution die, Jack? Not so much. Uh, lol. Uh, don't think Mia Yim look really cool. Her she mask is probably the worst one. She looked she like cool she was wearing before, a mask. She looked like she was doing some sort of weird Horizon Zero Dawn cosplay, but also like she was being punished for something. No, they, they, they look like dogs that have been told they're not allowed to bite people, but keep biting people. What so do they, they want? What does Retribution want? Do they hate people who paid? But they've Chaos. got contracts. 
Exactly, yeah. Yeah, yeah they, it doesn't make any sense. Retribution. Also, they aren't retribution. They are the group that calls themselves retribution. Yeah. Don't. Or the, group, or the group known as retribution. There's a, there's yeah. a meaning uh, wrong. Like, they're contracted to tear down the company and build it back up in their image. So, so basically, if you vandalize a place and terrorize it, you will then be paid for it, apparently. Oh, yeah. Yep. Oh, yeah. yeah. That works. It's- they said you gave us contracts, which means we can now do anything we want. Well, actually, if you if you get given contract, your your behavior is a lot more regulated. Like a yeah, lot. That's, more. Yeah, that's that's what we were saying on the raw podcast because none of it makes sense. They were saying yeah. now we can do what we want. You could do what you wanted before. Mm. You Having a, a contract cocktail, has made you do less <laughs> than you they were threw doing. Threw a cinder block. <laughs> exactly. Two. Oh no! That, yeah. No, it's two. Was it two or was it one? Yeah, it was two cinder blocks. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah, yeah. And, and now, yeah, me, me, and just forget it. If you watched NXT and they were together, don't worry about it. Don't but now, me, yeah, but it's also like uh, uh, Alex. That's because mate, it's a different character. That was me, Yim. Mm. This, well, this, this new person here. Yeah, yeah, new yeah. Person, a different character. So, but are it's we supposed like to not a bit like that? Sure. So, <laughs> what a way to put over NXT to basically say you could see what they look like, and commentary didn't say like, oh, this is. So and so from NXT. We're just supposed to pretend that we don't know what they look like. Yeah. They're new people. NXT doesn't exist. But it's an equal brand. Don't forget that. Equal brand, though. <laughs> brand warfare. Survivor series. They did the invasion last year, yep. didn't they? Yeah, 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 yeah. Doesn't matter. And they, and they comprehensively won it. NXT. Yeah. Yeah. Also, I'm pretty sure that Mia Yim was part of that. <laughs> yes. yes she so was. she's invaded twice now. So was <laughs> Dijak. <laughs> yeah. Dijak was as well, yeah. The Madden was a raw commentator. <laughs> <laughs> Shane Thorne was We can't a get down person. this train. I want to go to sleep. We can't do this forever. Say. But like, they got a contract so they're being paid. But yes, they yes. people who are also they being paid. Yes. People who are being paid yes. by WWE. Yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. Adam. Yes. Because, because, Adam, you see, the people who are paid by WWE are whores to the system. But Retribution mm-hmm. aren't, even though they're being paid by the same people. Yeah. <laughs> also, if Please they came from NXT, if they came from NXT, which they did, that's what they said last week in their promo. They were under WWE contract already because yeah. they were signed to NXT. So if, if WWE fire them, presumably the story just keeps going the way it is anyway. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, it doesn't make any difference. What is oh my god, we can't. We're going around in fucking circles and <laughs> caught in a fucking time loop. Can we please just rehouse some more super? <laughs> Scott, see, yeah. If you want to see the funniest thing, watch the beginning of the Raw podcast where Luke and Pete really cannot is. contain laughing. It's so one funny. of the funniest things. And watch it's it. So Don't bad. listen to it on podcasts. Watch it to see their faces. I, can, I just couldn't stop laughing when I kept thinking of Slapjack. So <laughs> <funny> <laughs> name. Such a dumb name. <laughs> it's called Slapjack. <laughs> yeah, that's genuine, his name. Genuinely, explosion is better. <laughs> people, people earn money. To think of that, <laughs> they took that money home. Unbelievable! I don't think you can get worse than recon and sniper. But <laughs> oh. please read some more bloody chats. I need to go to sleep. We've got news in the morning. Why did they have their own graphic? Who did they yes, buy? Adam, <laughs> please. By WWE's uh, graphics department because they're, they're under WWE contract. Adam, they're going to have merch next week. <laughs> Nobody is smart enough to go. That looks a lot like six foot nine Dio Madden. He <laughs> <laughs> just took commentary about six months ago. Yeah, isn't that the guy feud with Brock Lesnar? <laughs> isn't that the guy we work with every week? Hmm. <laughs> Are all of them under contract, or is it just those five? Never mind. Right. right. Brian Doyle says, Adam, whose idea was it to do a World Cup in WCPW? The bosses. And also, is it just me, or does Louis Dangle look like a deflated Shah Samuels? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I'll fucking take the plate. I'll take that. Hey, Josh Samuels, will take me right now, by the way. Very good. I will yeah. take that deflated. Better than the kid from us. Uh, <laughs> oh, but, oh, marvelous. Yes. Yes. He, yes. You are the Diglett to his, whatever the big one of Diglett is. Doug Trio. There we go. Thank you, Phil. There you go. Uh, Jake Tom Titian says, Hi Adam, you don't look as bad anymore. Anyway, roses are red, violets are blue. This last part won't rhyme. Titus kissed his son on the lip. <laughs> it's been a while. That won't pop me. I won't it's lie. It's been a while. Scott Young, it's mental how you managed to get the kid from up on Quizzlemania. Congrats. Lads. There it is. <laughs> mm, there it is. 
<laughs> oh, there it is. Uh, Vikram Prashana <laughs> says, 4.30 a.m. here in India. Go to bed, Vikram. Because <laughs> why the hell not? Hashtag jam that jam. Hashtag we are sorry for gender. Uh, K- Jason Canty says, nugget that nugget. Will Ware says, Louis is the champion, my friends. Congratulations, Louis. You deserve it. And yes, Sean is so proud of you. Hashtag jam that jam. Mont Blanc 034 says, dip that nugget. All hail King Nugget. Dip him. <laughs> dip that nugget. Dip that dip nugget. Dip the nugget. Dip, dip the nugget. <laughs> Queen Hannah says, uh, give us SRS versus McCarthy versus Louis versus Luke. Uh, Will Ware says, also, Adam, you will never sleep before midnight on Quizomania days ever again. Three hour Quizomania. CWW, this is something worth going three hours. Is that, <laughs> is that true, Q Tip? No, no, it really <laughs> isn't. I've got news in the morning, guys. I'm going to be up in six hours. El Chubbo yeah. FTW says, just got my Jam That Jam t-shirt in the mail yesterday. Cheers from Pennsylvania. Jalen McKenzie says, who's your least favorite wrestler that everyone else is high on? I got to go with FTR. E-I-M-O. Oof, oof, Jalen. I'm going to go with um, John Moxley. Don't get it. I don't. Or- Orange <laughs> Cassidy is not can very I, funny. Can I just pose a question about that to you, Adam? Have you, you seen... Do we have yeah. to? <laughs> have you seen uh, Pete, any of John Moxley's work from New Japan since he's left WWE? Uh, no, I haven't. To be fair, but, I would you know, recommend. I've seen that. his AEW. Fair enough. Like I just, I there's, there, there feels it seems like there's something that everyone else sees that I don't. I, I'm very happy for his success. He seems to be having he seems to be having a lot more fun with his life these yes. days. But I just. I, I will say I think about like five of the best matches of his entire career have come since joining New Japan last year. So it might, it might be just worth a watch, you know, if, if you feel like it. Excitingly, we've I, well. Very good. Which one? Sorry. I think excitingly, he had good matches with Lance Archer as well in Japan, and oh yeah, well. So hopefully that's good. Great. People aren't really high on her, but I'd say Charlotte. I like Charlotte. Never been into it. Right. I'm one right. of the few Charlotte defenders. I think she's, I would argue, one of the best women workers in the top tier. That's I me. agree. I, I think she's actually good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I'd say she's actually good. Yeah. Mine you is know, Orange Cassidy because he's not great for you. I think she always delivers. That's just my opinion. I think Orange Cassidy's great, Louis. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Mine is yeah. Dolph Ziggler. Not a fan. I, I wasn't like two thousand one. I'm not anymore. Yeah. I was. There was a time where I was very pushed, and I, I, I don't see it. Uh, Aaron says, "Alex, the only talk sport journalist who doesn't talk nonsense." Jesus. <laughs> 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 any, any comments on that, Alex? <laughs> I'm rushing to the defence of no one. So there you go. <laughs> Delightful stuff. The Jam One Ryan B Jams is hard to take Louis uh, Luke's taste in music seriously when he rags on bands like Limp Bizkit and Fozzy, but loves Faith No More, the poorly sure of music. I'm just gonna. Uh, I'm, I will address that because I've never ragged on bands like Limp Bizkit. Limp Bizkit fucking rule up until a point, and then they go <laughs> proper shite. But uh, Three Dollar Bill Yours a fucking banger of an album. Proper stands up. As the significant other, Fozzy are absolutely terrible though. Like they are. <laughs> That is that is a joke that's gone too far. Like <laughs> Judas, <laughs> Judas is a banger. Someone, yeah. someone told Chris Jericho, "You're not that bad of a singer, really." As a joke, and he was like, "Oh, cool, I'm going to have a music career then." And no one's had the heart to tell him, "Oh, you're actually a bit shite." Um, <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, I don't think I don't think I actually did delete it. Give me two seconds. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> it's the paint can. <laughs> <It's the paint. laughs> I, spent age- I spent ages making that. I mean, I mean, asking them to perform that song, of course. <laughs> it's from us off their new album. <laughs> yes, the new album, Ding Ding Tang. <laughs> Uh, right, Ryan Nocter said, did, did any of you guys have Rob McElhenney? 
MAC and Ryan Reynolds buying Wrexham football yeah. club in Re Wales on their 2020 bin. What a lot of words that don't make sense. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, boys. Ryan yeah. Reynolds is buying a football club or one of the people trying to buy a football club. That's it. Cool. Fair. Uh, Zach Robinson says, thoughts on a future Quizlemania lineup? Nerd Cubed, Ben Potter from Triple Jump and Jim Sterling. That would be a hell of a show. Invitations extended to all three men. Would love to have them on the show. Uh, Micah Newby says, corporate chopper, why not the oligarchy? Because it's it's, it's a been, real world or it's a real it's, word already. It's been addressed several times by Mr. Davis himself and he said, it's because it's the authority because it rolls off the tongue. That's it. <laughs> That's it. That's the reason. <laughs> Gorilla Press says, I shall await both of your responses respectively. Good evening at press underscore JT. James Griffin says, Adam Blompier. I'm such a huge fan of yours. Love your work. Anyways, who do you think has the capability of being the face of the WWE today? Uh, well, Roman. Uh, Roman. For one. Um, <laughs> 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 And John Cena. <laughs> but in terms and of Goldberg when he returns next year. Who has the potential to be a new face of WWE, I assume? Well, obviously, I, Luke Montez. I would say someone, if they actually cared enough, they could get someone like Alistair Black. Keith Lee. Keith Lee now, would be point, Keith I, great. I would have said, um, if you'd asked me a year ago, I would have said Velveteen Dream, but I wouldn't say that now. No. Uh, I think... Keith Lee is one like CM Punk style pipe bomb, like one moment away from legitimately being like face of the company. He's charismatic on a level like The Rock, genuinely, uh, and he can proper go. Uh, I, I think, yeah, if, if if they if it if lightning strikes, Keith Lee. I would say Adam Cole also has the talent and is just a little too small to make a proper bet of it, but who knows? You who know, knows? Dan Daniel Bryan pushes do happen. Hmm. They're rare, but they happen. Um, Daniel Vaughan, Dylan Vaughan, sorry, says, sorry about calling you a Tory two quizzes ago, Adam. You fucking are. Uh, but lucky for you, you sure don't look like one now. Thanks. I think. I mean, I guess. Like, yeah. I guess I don't blend into that particular uh, part anymore. Uh, K2KYD says, "I know all the retribution names are funny, but I feel so terrible for the talent. They deserve so much better. I don't regret no longer watching WWE. It's true. The laughter does stop when you think about the fact that Mia Yim has to wear that and say that because Mia Yim's great. They're all great. It's just like." <sighs> I don't know what more you can do but laugh. It's it's too funny. Slapjack, isn't it? Slapjack. <laughs> they couldn't have given them a more uphill climb. Well, they claim. Yeah. yeah. I'm sure they could have found a way. But yeah. this is this is you know you can't imagine the main event of WrestleMania and it's Slapjack. It's not going to happen, is it? And yeah. new. <laughs> this will entice the Rock back. Slapjack, or you know something like that. And Richard has said on podcasts before that they they do like seriously consider WWE name like when they're giving people names about like names that you could put on posters, which means they did give this some semblance of thought. Well, they they did ask, <laughs> didn't they say to Steve Austin Fang Fang McFrost? Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah, it was yeah. Um, Chili McFreeze. Chili yeah. McFreeze. Oh, yeah. Also, Otto Pond, Ruthless, and Ice Dash. Otto Pond, Ruthless. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. yeah. And um, the, the New Days, one of the original names pitched for the New Day was Fresh Coat of Paint. <laughs> what? <laughs> also, yeah. did you see some of the names that were suggested that just. No. Um, but if, so say, we got told, like, I don't know, here's a debut character in 2020 called The Undertaker, we would all take the piss. Absolutely. We yeah, would. If, if, so, if someone fight, debuted called The Rock, we'd be like, <laughs> excuse me? Yeah. He had, to, he had to graduate there, though, didn't he? Like, I oh, think, yeah. You know what I mean? Um, you get used to anything. Parts yeah. for known is a shit name. But Parts for known is terrible. We really like it. You're not on national TV. <laughs> yeah. Adam, yeah. phenomena. It's what were you thinking, mate? Phenomena. Yeah, no. Great, mate. People have taken to it quite badly, but they will get used <laughs> to it. And that's the important <laughs> thing. <laughs> Luke Owen. Uh, Slapjack My Nugget. Lewis won. 
CM Punk's comment about Slapjack was amazing. I don't think it was you... pretty good. He he think? he commented on his mask because his mask looks like a bunch of paper plates, and uh, and he he took a screen grab of it and just said, "When you're in catering and there's an abundance of paper plates, and that's it." <laughs> Damn. Uh, Zach mm. Robinson says hashtag Slap that Jack. Jalen McKenzie says, "I know you don't like Mox Adam. Pick someone else." <laughs> Fucking hell. Um, <laughs> who else does everyone like? But I don't care about um let's say uh, i don't know i don't know i love brock i love Drew. is there anyone in nxt that everyone's really high on all the time and you're like uh, uh no i mean i gargano i love them, 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 them who's just like like everyone praises but you just can't see the appeal i don't know I don't know, man. Like, I, my, I don't my, mind him, but I wasn't huge on on Carry and Cross to be honest. Not as not as over as the way he was booked, anyway. I that think. main event wasn't great, but he like, did get injured. It, 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 it was a separated shoulder. Yeah. But I don't think well, he's like a wrecking machine. I don't see him in like a Lesnar light. Do you know what I mean? I, I don't know. Maybe that's just a me thing than him. But yeah, you know, you know what? Like these, I don't quite see. The, like I, I've, I've seen him on the indies. I know how good he is. Same way that I, I'm sure I, I, you know, I know how good uh, Dean Ambrose is. I don't get Matt Riddle in WWE right okay, now. That's not as bad as I thought, I, as you were going to say. Yeah. That's okay. Yeah. Like I just don't feel like he's kind of. He just like, feels like a guy. He's just not. Mo he's just not wrestling in the way that is interesting for Matt Riddle to wrestle. He's just wrestle yeah. like it, it's a. It's a bit of the Shinsuke Nakamura problem. Totally. I mean, when um, I was doing the WrestleLuke stream for uh, Payback and Sean came in, we were just like, you know, almost howling with laughter because they had uh, Baron Corbin put like holds onto Matt Riddle, who then has to sell that he can't get out of these wrestling holds. I'm like, it's Matt Riddle. Yeah. Like, yeah. Fucking Baron Corbin. Like, it's Baron fucking... Corbin cannot out wrestle Matt Riddle. You can't that convince match... me otherwise. That match should have been the Cassius Ono match from Taker. It should have been 100%. Should have just had him really... come in. Corbin cut a promo. Riddle just knee him in the head and win. R Riddle had some like takeover matches like with Dream that that were great. Like he had his moments, but I agree with what you're saying, Adam. In terms of the main roster, what has he really done or been put in a position to do? He's probably you know, mm -hmm. maybe he's suffering a little bit in the same way Dream is too reputationally. But it's yeah. it's different from Mox because yeah, I just don't like. I I feel like he's got a little bit of a ceiling on him. Maybe I don't, I know, but just like Matt Riddle, I know is better. But just like right now, if you ask me, like what's his selling point? I couldn't tell you. Uh, which is such a shame. Like you know, he he, he doesn't wear shoes. <laughs> he got frostbite as a child. He got Luke. frostbite, which is why he doesn't <laughs> wear shoes. Stupid fucking WWE. Bro. God Almighty. <laughs> Uh, Mike and Newbie says, how about inviting Mike and Andy from outside Xbox to Quizomania? Yes, that would, that would be great. And finally, final Snapchat. <gasps> the main Snapchat. event. Snapchat. Main Snapchat. event. Hello, mate. What's that? Oh, Snap Super Chat. Jesus. Hey. Um, it is late. We're all, it's almost 1 a.m. This is the longest yeah. main has ever gone. I oh, started five hours, mate. I start walking 15 minutes. I blame. <laughs> I blame. Nothing. I really do. And yeah, no. Main event, Memphis Graceland says, just sending a message in to support the boys and keep Chopper up a bit long. <laughs> <laughs> Silly quiz, lads. That's it. Yay. Well done, boys. Well done, everybody. Right. I'm up in the morning to watch NXT. You're up to watch AEW. You're up to do, do the news. Four. I'm up in like four hours. Yeah. Yeah. I'm up in about four or five hours now. Yeah. I'm going Good to bed show. in five hours. Bye, Thank Michelle. you. Thank you so much right. for having me, guys. I really enjoyed Thanks it. Thanks for being here, Alex. Thank you, you, Alex. If you ever want a world-class one of those, you know where to get me. Thank you all. <laughs> Love you, Michelle. Michelle everyone. Love you, Michelle. Genuinely yeah. the best mouth drawing I've ever seen. Genuinely <laughs> the best. All right, uh, I'm ending this broadcast. Just good night, everybody. Bye. Bye. Good night. <laughs>